Chappelle's on Rogan and he's hating on you, bro. SNL killed it. My girl needs to start messaging me before she buys shit. That's a furniture store. Bill Gates <laughs> produced some nice little pussy, bro. <laughs> when you think about it, yo, so, yo, come on. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant 2. It's your boy Schultz. I'm here with Akash Singh, Alex Media, Mark Gagnon, and the Truffle. Mm. And, um, Hot take, ready? Hot take. Start hot it take. off with a super hot, hot take. take. Hot take. Ready? Uh, yep. SNL killed it. Really? Ooh. Hot take right now. Wow. SNL killed it. I have a theory. You, I want to know what you guys you're think about, about it. You're talking about Dogecoin, right? No, no, no. <laughs> the death of Dogecoin. The death of Dogecoin caused by <laughs> SNL. Uh, no, no, no. S SNL so bad it made people lose faith in Elon. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> this guy can't fail at anything. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> my Tesla stock is down. Oh, is it really? I don't know. I'm uh, just assuming. Fuck. All I'm saying is this. This is my theory about SNL. One, you got to give it up for the gravity that they created. Mm-hmm. This was the purpose of this show. I mean, I guess the purpose of the show is for sketch comedy, but like the purpose of the show was like, yo, the entire world can watch as this person that we all care about goes and tries to be funny and will take certain, you know, certain hot takes about the world, et cetera. Yeah. And ideally, everybody's supposed to go there and watch. They're supposed to get these hosts, these hosts that are going to compel people to watch. And they did that this time. Mm -hmm. I've never in my life before this, maybe for Eddie Murphy, and I don't mm -hmm. even know if I watched any of the sketches with Eddie Murphy. Not I maybe looked at the, uh, what is it, the opening monologue or something like that, because I was like, is he going to do some stand-up? What's going to yeah. be? But outside it, I cared. Mm -hmm. I got off stage. I was like, okay, let's see. Was he funny? Let me see a sketch. Like, how was it? I was looking for people's reactions. And I watched a couple of the sketches, um, and I thought they were pretty funny. I yeah. watched the Chad one. Where like he saves Mars with Pete oh. Davidson. I thought it was funny. I saw Gen Z Hospital. Did you guys see that? Gen one? Z Hospital was good. It was just long. Yeah. But the idea was kind of funny. It was just you know old people using like young yeah. people slang. I get it. But uh, but there were some moments that were funny. Um, and I realized what I realized what they did, and I don't know if they did this on purpose or not. But what they should continue to do is the best people to host SNL are unfunny people. Hmm. When you put a funny person as the oh, host of SNL, okay. the expectation goes through the roof. Yes. You're funny. You're going to make me laugh today. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till I'm going to die laughing. Yeah. And then they go host SNL, which is not really that funny. Yeah. And they let you down. Yeah. When you take someone who's basically a robot like Elon, right? Yeah. He has a sense of humor. Clearly, you see him on Twitter. You see him, you know, posting kind of the memes and playing into mean culture yes. and also like trolling other billionaires. It is fun, but not known as like one of the most hilarious people on the at planet. All. At all. Uh, and not trying to be. No. Uh, and then you put him in a position where you're like, well, let's see if this guy's going to be funny. Expectations are the key to happiness. Mm -hmm. The expectations are super low. They're mm -hmm. like, there's no way this guy could be funny. And then he makes you laugh once. You're like, oh, shit, here we go. Yeah. It's it's kind of more interesting as a comedic experiment. Yeah. Get Bezos. Get famous people that we do not expect to be funny and have them host the show and see if your writers are good enough to make them funny. It's like a chef making a turnip delicious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, take yeah. the things that aren't funny and make them funny. What do we do fundamentally? Yeah. We take the topics that aren't funny, right? We try to find the humor. And we try to find the humor in it. I, I think that they did. I saw a few of the sketches. I didn't see the whole thing. Yeah. But I saw it. And it was funny. He was kind of charming. Yeah. Oh, he was, I thought in, even in that sketch, I was very impressed because like you said, the bar was low for Elon. Yes. Now, I don't know that the bar was necessarily lowered for the show. Because they it's complained been about Elon. So uh, if I'm going to shit yeah. on Elon, I better bring the fucking ruckus when it's my turn. Yeah. yeah and yeah, this, yeah. Uh, we had a different take because I never wished SNL was canceled more in my life than I did watching the tweets around the show. Uh, That's when I was reminded how annoying everything about this show has become. Okay, like, okay. Where even that Gen Z hospital sketch, yeah, yeah. they managed to offend people because people were saying, this isn't Gen Z slang. This is just African-American vernacular English or whatever the term is now. And they're just, they're calling that Gen Z and that's not wrong. Oh, kind of annoying. But then what really got me is Elon Musk said, I'm the first person with Asperger's to host SNL. A bunch of people who you normally think would support such a thing were like, you're not first. Dan Aykroyd was first. Yeah, Elon yeah, yeah. Musk is only good for blah, 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 blah. And it's yeah. like, you guys are the fucking worst. Yeah. I want SNL canceled. 
I don't want to deal with it anymore. Yeah. I don't want to hear the fucking castmates complaining about the only good thing that's happened to the show in decades. Yeah. I don't want to hear the audiences complaining that somebody isn't the first retard on the show. Like, I'm good with all of it. I'm good on all of it, bro. Just how go do, away. How, which vaccine do I have to take to make sure my kid has Asperger's? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, one of the, if Johnson Johnson came back, they're like, yo, your kid is guaranteed to have Asperger's yeah. if you take this. I'm plugging it up. That's a selfless parent. Son, Asperger's I, is the key to success. At what point is. in time is it an advantage? Oh. Every person we know at Asperger's is successful. You're an X-Man. You're, You're a, a motherfucking fucking X-Man. X-Man. Yeah. And at least X-Men, well, actually, they did kind of get into the victimhood shit. Like, oh, they're after us. It's yeah. like, fly away, <laughs> motherfucker. Disappear. Do what you do. You got superpowers. Why are you acting like a bitch? Yo, <laughs> Professor X is kind of a cuck real He cuck. was a cuck. Kind of a cuck. Dude was cuck. a cuck. He could move every object except his legs. <laughs> motherfucker could move everything but his fucking legs, dude. That's the most paralyzed. <laughs> the dude yeah. could literally get you to walk away from him if he wanted to. Look I, the other way so he could sneak into some I shit. I he just liked playing the victim. He I did he like couldn't move his fu- legs. He was so addicted to victimhood, he made himself a paraplegic. Yep. Oh, my God, bro. Cuck! <laughs> cuck, cuck. Yeah, cuck useless out. leg liberal cuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Come on, twizzle little legs. Twizzle little legs. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy, <laughs> Professor X. This is unbelievable. So, yeah, this is an advantage. We got to stop acting like people with Asperger's. Chris Rock has Asperger's. Bill Gates got Asperger's. Mark Zuckerberg got Asperger's. Name a billionaire that don't have fucking Asperger's. Steve Jobs guaranteed had Asperger's. Hundred percent. He was an ass burger, dog. All mm. burger. Yeah, apparently, no Isaac, bun. Isaac Newton had Asperger's. Isaac, no, how do they know that? I don't There's know. There's no I'll way. This shit didn't even <laughs> exist he back did, then. Though. He Not did. He did because he's though. successful and yeah, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At what point in time do we just admit it? Smart Jews have Asperger's. At what point in time <laughs> do we just come out and say it? That's their superpower. Yeah. How do I get Asperger's now, bro? Son, it's the bet. You ignore your wife all day, just go to work and be like, what? I have Asperger's. I have I can't Asperger's. Help I'm sorry. I, you don't have any emotional reaction. I don't. You're right. <laughs> that is life. This is what it is. It's unbelievable. And my only problem is, my only problem with it is, we're not going to feel bad for them for their advantage in life. Okay? Yeah. I'm not going to feel bad. That LeBron is the most amazing athlete in history. Yeah. You're not going to act like a victim because of it. You know, I'm sorry. I'm 6'9". My fast twitch fibers are amazing. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I can jump out the gym. I right. have unbelievable hand-eye coordination. Yeah. I'm one of the greatest passers ever. I'm not going to feel bad for you because right. of that. So we got to start taking Asperger's and looking at it as a huge advantage. You're LeBrain James. Oh, oh you're LeBrain shit, James. I see what you just <laughs> did right oh, there, right? Son. I did that. Because you're exceptional at what you do and a victim. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was good. And I, thought, I wish you would get off Twitter. Fast. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so Asperger's is lit. How do you know you don't have Asperger's? Though? I hope I do. How would you? He a little Asperger. You might you think bur- I'm Asperger. Little, might be little Asperger. All right, give me an Asperger test. Okay, uh, let me look it up. On Ace, give me one. Give me an Asperger. Asperger test. Give me look say up Asperger test. This okay. is fire, dog. Right. Yeah, I'm Could, fucking nervous right now because if I don't have Asperger's, oh man, <laughs> that's gonna be such a letdown, dude. Did I you, had to do all this with hard work. I know, yo, that should be the Mensa test. It's just an Asperger test. Son, how many Mensas do you think got Asperger's? Oh, all that's of that. the Asperger Coalition. Bruh, yeah. That's all it is is a gang of fucking burgers out here. GB. <laughs> you know what I mean? GB out here. Solve the math problems, nerds. All right, so we got a couple of basic Asperger Okay, questions. give me an Asperger okay. question. Go. Uh, do you pursue friendships, but is it socially awkward and you don't know what to do to maintain the interaction? Rarely, no. sometimes, never, very often. No. That's everybody. No, I don't. Who doesn't pursue friendships and you sometimes friendship? feel awkward? Like, who don't want friendships? And sometimes bro? it's awkward. That's everybody. Yeah. Oh, a little Asperger. Oh, bro. I was saying that doesn't happen to me. You never feel awkward? In a With new my friends? No, pursuing friendships, like trying to make new friendships. Who makes new friends? I'm 37 <laughs> years old. All right, this so, shit just happens, right, bro. So that's one point. Ain't no new friends. Yeah, that's one burger. That's new one friends, burger. Friends, when you get older, Drake it's like... Drake got a whole Asperger's anthem. No new friends. No new friends. Yeah. No, that is a stupid one because maybe when I was younger, that was the case. Mm-hmm. But as an adult, I'm not looking for new friends. They just kind of exists there it's like a mold <laughs> like do you know what i mean like if you just left out long enough <laughs> then you get some molds <laughs> yeah. right that, that's what friends are when you're yeah. older but okay. go on all right so that's one burger for you i think so yeah far. wait uh, I'm, do i have a burger or no you have one burger i think Did i thought you, i answered it wrong you said you don't make any friends that's that's burger but at 37 who's making friends that question at NA, that question so you NA. let's burger. go to the next question say what you grew into your burger i grew into my burger yes i'm just going with it <laughs> I'm just going with it. Let's does, go. Does your child have difficulty during... Okay, not your child. This is for kids. Okay. Uh, do you have difficulty during social interactions, like monopolizing conversations, you don't pick up on social cues, <laughs> bossy, etc.? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that... 
Uh, listen, you might think I got burgers. I got Impossible Meat over here because that could not be that could not be further. I can't believe it's not burgers. Yeah. Bro. So you got Real talk. Now that might be me. I got right. one burger right there. I got one burger. Nah, he's beyond, no, he be beyond burgers, bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's beyond burger? Just give me the prime rib, dog. You want full steak? Ain't no mince meat over here. I'm the filet mignon of this shit. All right, if the filet autism. Dude. Okay, right. keep going. Keep going. Right. So no, no, that's another thing. Stop separated from autism. Bro, it's on the spec. No, no, that that is wrong. No, it's that it's is like wrong. Splenda for autists. No, 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 no. He, he might be autistic. Remove might autism entirely it's from splendor it. Splenda for autism. <laughs> yeah, but I understand. That's how they try to sell it to us because they want to be retarded a little bit so you can't make fun of him. Mm. Like that motherfucker <laughs> went on right before we were about to make fun of him for being on SNL. He was like, "Yo, I'm retarded," and we're like, "No, nah, I can't make fun of this retarded motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't be retarded, and you're the richest person in the world." That's true. What the fuck that makes me? That's true. If you're retarded, that's true. What am I? That's true. Son, I am the, what is the retarded of retarded? That's bullying. What do you call the retarded kids that you're like, man, this motherfucker <laughs> don't even like ice cream, bro. Like how <laughs> retarded is he? I think it's a double negative. I think it, I think it Two retards back. make a, make a. Elon Musk. An Elon Musk. Okay, yeah. that's possible. All, All right. I'm trying to say is let's remove Asperger's from that spectrum. It's autism. Now we take Asperger's, we put it over here. That's that's and what not is, the same what thing. What is Asperger's on? Is it like a different spectrum? It's his superpower. own thing. It's a superpower. Like sexuality? Superpower. Uh, okay. Sexuality as well. The whole thing. Uh, so it's like height. Or Keep on going. Okay. Uh, do you uh, exhibit repetitive or robotic speech? Yeah, all the time. Okay, so that's two burgers. Um, do you struggle? Repetitive or, or or what is it? Robotic speech? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just repeated it, so yeah, I think that kind of proves it right there. Yeah, I definitely have autism. No, this is not autism. This is Asperger's. Autism All is right. whack. Uh, do you struggle to understand nonverbal communication despite having good verbal skills? No. Okay. That's, that's true. He's right. Do you engage in awkward mannerisms or repetitive movements such as hand flapping or toe walking, for example? No, but that annoys the fucking shit out of me. So you're a self-loathing burger. The toe walking... Drives me crazy. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that those people were actually retarded. I thought <laughs> that they were making a choice to walk on their toes like that. And it would drive me crazy. And I remember in high school, I would put my hands on their shoulders and I would <laughs> hold them down when they would. <laughs> I would hold them down. Yeah, no. Walk. It's infuriating. It it's, is really, why is it so infuriating? That's, that's, that's Elon bouncing. Musk, though. They're bouncing no. around for no reason. Unnecessarily it's, bouncing. Gravity affects them less. They want to go to space. Why do you think Elon's building a rocket, bro? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. There you go. I mean, it's not really a good point, but it was a good joke. <laughs> yeah, That's a good yeah, joke yeah. to be made in that moment. All right. Do you obsess over topics, interests, or fears? Yes. Yeah. All right. Do you have difficulty? The question is that who doesn't obsess over topics, interests, or fears? Regular people, bro. Fuck, you man. I just want to be regs, dude. Do you have difficulty maintaining eye contact? No. No. Do you have difficulty maintaining a back and forth on top? Sometimes I do have difficulty making eye contact. Right, like with Ben Uyeda this weekend with his body, bro. Wait, who? <laughs> ben Uyeda was was with us in Phoenix this weekend and he was taking his shirt off and going to the oh, pool. Oh, shit. I couldn't Trick even look at him. Trick or treat, bro. Son, treat. <laughs> 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 a high calorie treat. In, yeah. in the pool coming Ooh, out? Oh, bro. Oh. It was bad. That motherfucker was just sitting on top of the pool and then Mark and Miles were looking at him and they just plunk their body inside <laughs> yeah. the water because yeah. they just could not be seen yeah, next to that down. motherfucker. Yeah, I ducked down. <laughs> duck, yeah. duck, he, goose. Yeah, he's a little fortune cookie, that guy. Um, all right, do you have That was racist. <laughs> Why is that racist? That was racist. Why is that racist? That was Why racist. Why is that racist? Bro. I just said he's like a little internment camp, that bro, guy. That's just, a little yo, snack. That's a different Asian, bro. That's a Get snack. Get your Asians right. It's not any Asian, bro. It's an American snack. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, is that repetitive you're speech? So, so, is that repetitive dude, speech? Did I do repetitive you're speech? You're making me a burger. Am I ass burger? You're Did making, I get you burger? You're making me the I hamburger you right up, now. Yo, you're, you're, welcome. Whole hamburger. you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. Let's go. All right. Do you have difficulty maintaining a oh, back shit. and forth? Oh, shit. Are Asperger's... This is so yes. funny. Yeah. No, this, this is, is good. Good. Tommy's ass is good. This is good. So, yeah. ask. Let's... What? I don't what? think yes. What? Dude, There's one what more question it? to find out if you're fully burged out. And what dude. is that? You just can't uh, finish the test? Have you been able to finish this test? Listen, Asperger. Your boy is Asperger, dog. No, Asperger's are the Jews, and then hamburgers are non Jews. <laughs> hamburger. <bro. laughs> That's, I'm a That's hamburger. So good. You're an Asperger. I'm a so hamburger. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you repeat lines from shows and movies in repetitive fashion? No. I feel like you do. Who I does don't. That? Who does that? Bro, you say movie lines all the time. You don't watch movies. You wouldn't know what the lines were. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You he said actually you would never know what you the lines were. You quote Step all the time. Remember? That? Oh, don't do that to me. You do. Don't do what that. I'm that not from? one of those. What movie is that from? Don't do that to me. <laughs> yeah. Me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> 
<laughs> is, that, is that for me myself? No, Irene, not, don't no. do that to me. I Remember when Irene oh, yeah. was like, "Don't do that to me." Yeah. Remember yeah. that? I Irene was to, like, man. "Don't do that to me." I and then me to. myself was like, "Smoking, smoking, smoking." I'm smoking. <laughs> you know, man. Jim Carrey. The goat. Isn't that Jim Carrey? Yeah, fucking goat. All right, go. All right, so we have your score here. All right, what I get? Al, do you want to read the results? No, you got it. Moderate indication of Asperger's syndrome. That's exactly what Let's he said. Let's go! <laughs> That's exactly what Oh, congrats, dude. God damn, I can't even be good at Asperger's, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, you a moderate burger, bro. I got moderate burger? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right, that's lit. Yeah, you're a little junior bacon cheese. Yeah, junior. I'm a little junior yeah. bacon junior cheese. Whopper. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I'm so excited. Yeah, dude. you doing it? Wait, am I allowed to feel things? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. I mean, I'm really excited. You're I'm, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I have a high emotional. I have a high emotional reaction. Yeah, that's how to Al this. reacts to stuff. Honestly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Pretty only good. thing separating you from full burger is Al's laugh. Is you had Al's laugh, you full burger. Oh, that laugh is burger. <laughs> yeah. If you were white with that laugh, that's a burger oh, laugh. You, that's time. for sure burger. You do have a longer leash as a black person with your weird laugh, but a white person that would just go, dude, that's not even burger. That's full re, re. <laughs> <laughs> really? I didn't want to say it, but it is right. No, you're the burger king with that one, bro. Mm, that laugh could support the farmers that re, re, laugh. All right, man. So what are you guys thoughts on the uh, SNL? Uh, what, yeah, what did you, what'd you, in think? general, did you, first of all, did you guys watch any sketches before you react? I watched the Gen Z sketch and okay. I watched the monologue. Okay. And? I thought the Gen Z sketch was like, eh, like conceptually funny, didn't really go anywhere. I'd like, it was just them yeah. being slang. Like, that's, that's how I felt about it was the just long. Whenever I watched the Californians, yeah. Yeah. it felt the exact same as that, where it's like, yeah. I guess you guys are laughing, but I don't. It's the same it. joke over and over again, yeah. but like if it was just quick, you just make that thirty seconds. That's I think the thing. That I give a ton of leeway to SNL in general, just because it's so hard to make an hour or however long the show is, an hour and a half. Yeah, like an hour and a half of like comedy every week. Like that's yeah. like an impossible task in general. I and don't give them that leeway because they choose to do it. Yeah, just yeah. make it half hour and make it hot, and then everything will be fine. Yeah. That's true. You said you enjoyed it, right? On a one to ten scale, where just you? what I saw. I just saw I thought three sketches, yeah. and then the. Uh, uh, his part of the weekend update. Okay. That's and the majority of the show. No, I thought it was an hour and a half. I, I watched probably right, then there's music seven and minutes. There's commercials. Like you get about maybe seven sketches, two music performances. That's about the show. Wow. Okay. Oh, so yeah, I did I, part, watch part of the weekend update. Yeah. And yeah, and yeah. I, I was charmed by him. I thought it was cool to see somebody who is so composed, brilliant, and successful be vulnerable and it's like a really humble thing to do is to go out there know you're gonna look stupid mm -hmm. and he was gonna look stupid in certain points in time and i really respected that i just thought it was really fucking cool to be willing to be i don't know that hmm egoless now is that intrinsic to like the entrepreneurial gene <clears throat> you know what i mean like this is a guy that's like put gonna, yourself in the situation i'm gonna build rockets that succeed. explode on like land yeah. like oh. yeah. i'm gonna fail i'm gonna build a car company even though every car company in history has been i thought it was just bankrupt. an asperger thing where he's like hey even if i look stupid we'll make money kind of like we said last week maybe you said it last week specifically but like yeah i'm gonna look stupid but we're gonna make money and we're gonna mm. get uh publicity and it's gonna benefit me in the long run maybe so i'll look stupid and who cares maybe Maybe, but it felt like you were going somewhere with that. Just my theory is that I think you would enjoy watching SNL on a regular basis because well, yeah. for the sketches I've seen, that was an average episode of SNL. Yeah. Uh, wow. So I think all the SNL hate, you got to take it back. But, wow. but, 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 but clearly wow. you haven't been listening for the last month. No. I, yeah. <laughs> clearly you don't pay attention. What I've always said about SNL is I can't criticize it because I don't watch it. I you can do only, criticize it. No, I don't. We actually, Maybe? we actually shit on. We're like, why are comics still shitting on it? Which I get why. But literally, the last time I was it's saying, become it's become kind of a hack. It's thing become a trope. It. It's but like I, I remembered you, why yeah. when I saw the tweets around it this weekend. Nah. But it's like a lot of comics who are upset where they are in their career, and they just take it out on SNL because they know they're not going to be on SNL, so it's a safe thing to criticize. Gotcha. But I, I say I cannot act accurately say if the show is good or not because I don't watch a show. What I do see of the show. I'm often not impressed. Also, by. you're Hippocrates, so it's like... Yeah. But that's also another thing. But but that's what I've said always on the podcast. What I have seen in the show, I'm often not impressed by. Gotcha. Okay. But this was impressive to me because I was charmed by Elon. And I thought the sketches were okay. But I'm going into it going, 
with the lowest expectations. I should go into this legacy television show with the highest, right? Like if I go watch, if I go watch a Chris Rock special, if I watch a Dave Chappelle special, if I watch a Patrice O'Neill special, I'm going in going, this is the greatest. These, you got, I'm, it's right here. You got to beat this. Mm-hmm. Well, with SNL, for whatever reason, this is the longest running comedy show on television in history. And I go in going, this is not going to make me laugh. Mm. That's a problem. Mm. Especially since I know people on the show who are really funny on stage. Yeah. Like really funny on stage and not that funny on the show. So I'm just like. Who's still a stand up on that show? Sam J. Oh, Sam's She's a writer a on the Jay. She's fucking so much to Sam Jay. She got a new yeah, HBO show. The so looks fucking Sam, dope. Dog. Sam is so fucking funny. Sam, I mean, Michael Che is che, fucking funny as hell. I assume Che's doing his own thing now with his. He's Michael got his che. show. That's good. I'm excited to see that. Like, yeah, I saw, I'm watching the first episode. Very creative. Well done. So, like, I know people who write on the show or on the show and on stage are fucking beasts. Yeah. And then that doesn't get displayed on TV. So I'm like, there's something, there's, there's a some mechanism filter. with the show. Also, yes, there's a, li- a, there's a governor, like, you know, in a car, like the car says it goes 220, but you push it and it only goes 160. Yeah. That's yeah. SNL. It got a governor and the governor's probably antiquated. Like it's, they're probably working off these FCC rules from 40 years ago. Mm. And it's like, we've moved past it. Like we can hear certain bad words. We can have certain opinions that are a little bit crazy. Now here's a fun question. If you took the whole cast, the whole production, the whole budget yeah. and put it on YouTube. Yeah. Do you think the show would be better? Yes. Like without those governors, FCC rules, TV rules. I think anything will be better without those governors. Mm. I do believe that sincerely. Mm. I think anything will be better without limitation. Um, some people often say like limitation uh, forces you to be more creative. Yeah. You know, but I don't really believe that because I think that you like creativity is inspired by who you are as a person. So I don't think people are going to go, well, since I'm free to do whatever I want, I don't need to be creative now. Yeah. Mm. You're just going to be that much more creative. You already have natural limitations just by who you are. Exactly. You don't need more. Exactly. So why would you govern your creativity in any way? Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, I would love to see them do it. Mm. I really would. I, like, it'd be really cool to see just a few of like, the people from that show, maybe when they're done, just like do a version of it for, for YouTube or a version of it for Facebook or something like that. Like, mm. And then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it comes out the same, and then maybe I'm wrong. I just know people that are funny, and I see them on stage... And I go, it was the same thing with Shane Gillis. Like, I saw Shane do stand-up. I was like, nah, this motherfucker is funny, bro. Yeah. I don't care what you say. This guy is funny. And then when I saw the sketch show, I was like, oh, yep. Yeah. And to SNL's credit, I was like, I see why you wanted that guy. Mm -hmm. Because it fits. Like, if he could do those things on SNL, they would fucking murder, bro. Yeah. Those exact sketches he's doing right now would fucking destroy. Obviously, certain words he can't use. Would he be able to? Certain words he can't use, but conceptually, I think he could. It would be a little goofier. And so SNL is a little goofy. It's like, right. let's be silly. It's got that improv streak to it. Improv it feels is like goofy. an improv show. And to improv use your is word corny. from earlier, intrinsically or inherently or whatever, corny. it's just corny. Yeah, improv yeah. is just corny, improv corny is, in its nature. I, I don't want to like, it's hard for me to, here, here, let me just. Let me, let me, let me, yeah, what is that? What is let me show you what, yeah, oh. what keys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's, my, jingle, my, jingle. it's my car keys. Oh, <laughs> oh it's my car. <laughs> G-Wagon. No, no big deal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just a knot. Nazi sled to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> a Nazi sled. <laughs> heil, heil, heil. I'll take my Elon Tesla any day. Uh, you're great. right off the big nose reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> this show is going off the rails. Hey. <laughs> like those trains never did. <laughs> <laughs> Fun yeah. fact, you know how the G-Wagon came to be? How? So it was. A I don't military- think this is going to be fun. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I do know. for Gestapo, Dove. There's, no, there's, so there's an irony here, okay? <laughs> going out the, on a limb. The Shah of Iran. Yeah. Okay. Before his ass was kicked out by Khomeini. Yeah. Uh, loved the military version of that car so much that he pushed them to create a, co- a commercial or, pro- I guess, uh, consumer version of it. And the Persian, you know, Shah got them to make a consumer version. And now that's the car that I'll. Persian Jews driving. Did you Beverly see how Hills? much fun we were wow. having before you told your story? <laughs> Did you see how much fun Unsubscribe. that was? Unsubscribe. <laughs> Unsubscribe from Carfax. Okay. I know I was bored because I Carfax. started picking my palm. Dude. I was like, this, is, I this started, looks like something fun to do. I started <laughs> checking the levels on this shit. <laughs> Good facts. Come on, dude. <laughs> Felix, no facts. That's a cool fact. That's Felix, no facts. No, no facts. Oh, you that's how that segment works? Tell us how you feel about Persians now. Yeah. Yeah. Make up for it. That hit uh-huh. it. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. Ah, do it. No, he's got to go back to LA eventually, dude. You can't live in LA. No, I can't do the Persians. You can't. Oh, you just can't do it. No. Oh, why? Why? Oh, no, this is good. What if it's post nose job? Now we're feelings. Now (laughs) I'm loving it. Now, Moroccans and the Persians, hot blood and hot blood? No, no, no. They just don't mix? I don't need it. 
Really? <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm trying to, tur I'm trying to turn the temperature down yeah. in my life. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't need it. <laughs> Eastern so Europe, what are you, what some are you Russians. For? You know what's so funny is that's how so many people have felt about Jews, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I see history, that. Throughout history, they just be like, no, nah, we don't need it. Spain, we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Morocco's the only place where they're like, kind of need it. <laughs> yeah, but you take all the Moroccans in Ooh. Israel, they all get together. It's like Ru it's Russians and Moroccans together. Now that that's now the babies are chetzi chetzi. Wait half -half. a minute, Russians like the Moroccans. It's always a Moroccan dad and a Russian or Eastern European mom. So when mm. you see those like hot Israelis, like Bar Raphaelis and the blue uh, eyes, yeah. tan. I followed IDF girls, by the way. By the way, <laughs> yeah. That's a lit Instagram page. Dude. I, wait, wait, wait. IDF is what? Is really I defense? don't fuck American. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? I don't they fuck? make you wait. That's what they should call that. I don't <laughs> fuck. Because Israeli girls, as beautiful as they are, do not give you nope. no pussy, bro. Yeah, you are salty, bro. I am super salty. <laughs> like a... Is, <laughs> <laughs> You're getting there. I fucked it up, but I was, I was trying to come up with like a Jewish food that was salty, like gefilte fish or like a, a matzah soup. Matzah like, ma what's super salty? Bro, All their food is salty, right? Gefilte fish, right? Gefilte yeah. fish. It's not my food. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. We get it, Dove. We get it. Thank you. All right, you really, you really rebounded. Yeah, you did. You did. Well done. Because you tanked the facts, yeah. and then he brought it back. With the yeah. feelings, the Dove. Feelings, With the dude. feelings. That's really all it takes to get us back on our side is like, oh, are you going to hate on an ethnic yeah, group yeah, for yeah, no I'm reason? In. I'm in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm in. Shouts <laughs> to y'all Persians, man. Keep worshiping goldfish or whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they work? Yeah, yeah. No ruse. They have a goldfish years. holiday, right? There's always a goldfish in a bowl on a holiday. <laughs> and they flush that shit down the toilet afterwards. I don't know what they do with it. What? Yo, Tub does not so fuck so with patronized. Persians, bro. This is no, but they did teach me to hustle in, oh, they back did. in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah, we were the, just talking about that. Yeah, the what? dudes. Yeah. What? They just what? They just have a, they have a way. With girls, you're saying? No, no, no. no, no. no. Just like, life. Just the way Dove gets hustle. his deals, that's some Persian yeah. shit. I think oh. he's always coming out on top. We and we think it's Jews, but maybe it's Persians. Oh shit. They talk to the Jews. art of the deal. Persian Jews that's are the what best. I grew up with. Uh, pretty good. So you really? said you got your strongest, like your strongest talent from Persia. No, that's one vertical of my talents. I'll nah, be it's strongest <laughs> one. <laughs> it's your strongest about? one, though. That's one of the negotiating. There's a Persian negotiating technique, but I've got yeah. so many others. I've told Andrew, like, I'll look pathetic, like a loser to get what I want sometimes. You just yeah. have to be willing to be a character. You got to say thank you Persians, bro. They made you. Yeah. They made Yo, you. How do you, do you say thank you in Farsi? They made you, bro? Yeah, they say thank you in Farsi right now, bro. Come on. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's weirdly merci. Is oh. it merci? Yeah. Oh. But they say, merci. Merci. See merci. Garbage, that sounds. <laughs> Whoa, Moroccans dude. would say, merci. Merci. Why? Why? That but is. that's because the French came in there and started breaking back. <laughs> 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 they were taking all them hot, they were taking all them hot Moroccan chicks and yeah. they started breaking back. Doesn't dude. happen. You don't think so? Can't happen. You don't think the French guys came down there and they just started busting y'all wide yeah. open? Where's the idea of that? That does bro. sound like what happened. Because that merci that you said, say it again. Yeah. Which one? Merci. The, the colonized one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shit sounded fire, to be honest. It they did, were going shokran and then merci. Shokran. 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 You remember when a, a, a Parisian dude, we were at a restaurant and Dove just spoke full French with them? Ugh, yeah. I thought you just learned French. Turns out you guys are fucking colonized people. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's why he Thank knows you. it. Of course. Yeah. yeah. No. This guy's fluent. Okay. Back to um, us. Fucked up. Um, <laughs> what else is going on, my, my guys? We're good on SNL. I think it was... It was a cool moment to see the entire world interested in oh, one thing. Oh, my favorite part of SNL. Yes, go. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, we got to get your dicks right. Got to get them dang -a slanging. And the only way you're going to do that to the best of your ability is if you get that chew in the system, blue chew. We talk about all the time, same active ingredients as Cialis or Viagra, but we only fuck with the chew, and there's a reason, because it's the fucking best, plain and simple, mm. okay? So if you want to satisfy your girl, your side chick, or maybe the girl you've never slept with and you're about to, you want to make a lasting first impression because the first dick could be your last dick if it's your worst dick. What you're going to do is go to bluechew.com, and you're going to get that shit for free. Think about that. Free. Best dick of your life for free? All you got to do is pay $5 shipping when you use our promo code flagrant? BlueChew.com. Make sure you use our promo code flagrant, okay? 
and then pay five dollars shipping and you get the best dick of your life it's time to deliver now let's get back to the show my favorite part about <laughs> snl <laughs> yeah fuck elana right <laughs> but oh yeah. my favorite part oh, about yeah, snl baby. Fuck is Elon. that in the green Stupid. room before the show yes. we're going back and forth like oh shit like what's gonna happen with dogecoin after snl because oh. all, like, all this speculation <laughs> So if anyone that doesn't know, Dogecoin is basically this crypto that's based on like a meme. So yes. basically after like Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these other cryptos popped up in 2013, this kid made this like crypto that was basically just like a fake. You Using know. old Bitcoin technology, there's yeah, no yeah. market cap on it, which means you can keep on mining it. There's like yeah. billions of the coins available. And it's still blockchain, the whole deal. Yeah. But it's just based off this little Shiba Inu like dog that was a meme back in the day that they called Doge. So yes. now it's Dogecoin. So basically it started popping up and you could buy it for like, you know, they're trading at like one cent a coin or whatever. I'm and sorry. What just happened? My girl needs to start messaging me before she buys shit because. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Dogecoin. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get son, some I Andrew coins. I started breathing heavy, son. <laughs> I started breathing fucking heavy, dog. What's the I got the American. I got the. Oh, God. What's, what's Bro, Lulu in Georgia? What's that? Oh, that's a furniture store. <laughs> 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 So I, I looked at the shit from here, and I my vision is going, but I saw a comma from here, and I was like, this chick done lost her goddamn mind buying shit with a comma without telling me, yo. But that's Andrew coin, bro. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's Schultz coin, bro. To the moon! Oh, <laughs> Son, if there's a comma, you got to call me. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. Call me for the comma. Nah, she's yeah. a day no. trader, bro. But, you I, respect I, but it's furniture, so a comma is to be expected, and I'm sure she ran this by you. Hey, oh, hey, but you just weren't it. ready. She That's definitely all. ran it by you. She's running like, yeah, me yeah. buy so many things. <laughs> That's what she they do. She sent me a PowerPoint with like 15 things on it, and I just agree on the PowerPoint. Yeah, baby, we have so many things to do, and then they sneak in the expensive stuff. Oh, yeah. my running God. Running turns into running and buying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hun, I literally, that was, that was shocking to me right there, dude. <laughs> by the way, does it hurt knowing that I have a discount to that store that you didn't ask me for? <laughs> Uh, Persian, Persian, Persian piece of shit. Persian. Persian. <laughs> now, what is that? What was that right there? When you like had an advantage, but you didn't share with anybody? What I'm joking. That I called? didn't have it. I just wanted to get you sweaty. But it's oh. a, it's a, it's a, it's a good brand. The stuff's fire. No, he does have stuff's it. Fire. What's it called? You didn't you want to ruin the podcast. I don't want to shout them out again. Okay. They didn't All right. pay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Text me, and then I'm. I'm gonna shout them out for a hundred dollars though. Okay. So Lulu and George, you guys want to hit me up? Baby, message me before you do. The comma purchases, please. That should be baseline. Uh, if there's a comma in the purchase, you have to text me. Agreed. Why are you getting updates? Well, you don't need this in your life. I need updates. Amex be giving you How updates. How many of y'all got my fucking Amex? I need fucking updates. <laughs> no, that's my point. You don't I need got updates. Fifteen people with my Amex. You don't need updates. Fucking bro. edit from WTF Media probably still got my Amex. <laughs> I, I just give the my shit out to everybody. Everybody who's ever been a part of my business has my fucking Amex. Just going is up, baby. It's down. No. It's down. It's Too many people me. buying shit. I get shit. I get so many goddamn purchases. My business manager messaged me the other day and they're like yo someone just returned something worth five thousand dollars and they're like do you know what rhp is or some shit and i was like fam shut up and keep it <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing finally we get money back finally there's money coming back Bro. we're not spending it you're and you're complaining <laughs> you're complaining about these things my girl probably reverse purchased something by accident keep the fucking money i don't even care if it's hers <laughs> I don't care if it's coming out of her fucking business school. Your account. bank account's like Netflix, bro. You just trading passwords with everyone. That's it, bro. I got shit. That's 20 accounts on there. Like, who is accounts. Ted? Who's Ted? I should have different accounts, Watch bro. Watch your fucking narcos. How many of my they exes probably still down. got my goddamn American Express? You got too many streams coming in. They're going to shut that bro, shit down. I can't wait for my car to be, uh, you know, run out of uh, time. Maxed out? What's it called? No. <laughs> Expired? Or the day Expired, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm like, yo, run out of go. Time. Amex, hurry. How many? Because you got it. when it expires, then all the people who have my shit got to ask again. You're the only you, person that's never been married but still paying alimony, bro. Dude, like, I don't understand. <laughs> all these bitches still live eating off me, bro. All of them. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yo, come on, Amex. How you gonna do this to me at the beginning of a pod? Everyone that's ever met you is like, dude, Andrew's the nicest guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the most generous guy. Now we know. Oh my now goodness, we know. bro. Never. She set me up lovely too. She set me up so lovely. 36 minutes ago, Amazon purchased $37.64. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna literally eat that. Yeah. That, that chain, was me, bro. actually. That's pockets, bro. That's, that's pockets. pockets. That's yeah, nothing, pockets. bro. That's dust. Right after that, Lululemon. What is it? Lulu in Georgia. Whoever that bitch is. 
Yo, if it's got Lulu in the name, you're overpaying. I'm yeah, overpaying, that's, that's bro. That's a fact, bro. Oh, my God. Is it the same bitch that make the pants, Lulu? Yeah, 100%. I, who is this bitch? Let's, <laughs> let's call this dumb bitch. Hippie-ass bitch. You're talking about Lulu and Jordan. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Not my absolutely. Girl. I'm definitely not absolutely. calling my, my girl. I feel the similar way, but I'm not going to say it live on the podcast. Spending, fuck me. Come on, bro. bro. Call Lulu and Jordan Call right Lulu. Now. This is stupid-ass I, I, I want to. We got to bleep her name out, too. She ain't giving us no fucking discount. Give us some furniture. <laughs> At least. Is it furniture? Yes. What costs this amount? Furniture. Why? It's wood. Nah, it's, she probably got like a whole package. Oh my they goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like five thousand dollars sofas and stuff. This is not that great. Yeah. <laughs> that shit. I, yeah. How's that G wagon now? How's that G wagon now, Listen, bro? I think my Asperger's going away, bro. I'm reacting emotionally to this. I need some more burgers, bro. <laughs> Oh my God! Doug, yeah. return the wagon. <laughs> return the wagon. Let's go back to sixty. <laughs> I need to get my X three again. Get the series. Man, why did you get the G wagon for the last like three I weeks? I spiraled. I didn't yeah. tell you what happened. Yeah, he blacked no. out. Oh my God! No, I need to hear this story. I need to hear oh this story. Oh my God, bro! I, I, my rental was for three months. We extended Florida for one yes, month. I right. didn't realize that. So the guy's like, "Yo, you got to drop off the the BMW." I was like, "Yo, just run it back." He's like, yo, if I run it back, it's more, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you just come here and we'll see what we could do? I go there. He goes, yo, you want to check out anything different? I go, well, I mean, why are we here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why are we here? We might as well check some shit out. So I start walking the lot. Yo. I see the Audi. I see an Audi A4 or some shit. It's a yeah. drop top. I get in that bitch. I'm like, yo, let me drive around in a drop top. Mm. The guy's like, yo, I could get this for you for like the same that you got the, the X3 for. And I'm like, yo, this might be lit. And then the guy tells me. It's Florida in May. You're not going to want a drop top, bro. You're going to melt. You're going to melt in this drop top. I'm like, all right, fine. We keep walking. And it, it was destiny, bro. <laughs> it was destiny. Bro. Yeah. A G-Wagon, brand new, starts mm. rolling into the parking lot, mm. freshly washed. Ooh. They just washed it. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be doing that, though. They be just washing them. They be washing these yeah, cars, they be washing bro. the fuck out when these cars. When they wash them yeah. cars, it's hard, That's the makeup bro. for cars. They be that sparkling, shit is the yo. Yeah. Yeah. yo. Yeah, that's dog. eyeliner for cars, bro. Oh, my Yo, this car looks God, nice. Bro. It was so beautiful when it pulled up. Shit, is a Snapchat filter. Oh, It ain't never going to look like that again. Oh, man. It's not bro. real. It's not real. I had to sit in it. Try to close the door. That shit didn't even close the first time, bro, because I wasn't strong enough. Not heavy, I bet. That yeah. shit was heavy, dog. Yeah. And then he goes, he says, "This is how he got me." He goes, he goes, "Nah, this is you. You can't, te you can't treat this like a car." He goes, "This is a military vehicle." <laughs> when he said that shit, son, I said, "Sign me up, bro." <laughs> I said, "I don't care how much it is. One month, we'll do it." Thank God the guy gave me a very <clears throat> nice hookup discount. But I had to have that G wagon, and I was driving back home in that fucking G wagon, and it hit me about twenty minutes. <laughs> it hit me about twenty minutes, right? And I'm driving back home, yo, and I was like, "Let me tell you something. If my girl doesn't shit her pants with excitement when I show her this car, I think I think I'm canceling the wedding, bro. I think I'm, if she doesn't hop out of bed and shit her fucking pants out of sheer excitement for this goddamn car, the wedding." Is canceled, okay? <laughs> I'm not playing games, bro. I rolled up mad loud, hit the fucking horn. horn lean on it. Lean on that bitch. Yeah. yeah. Mark came down concerned. <laughs> <laughs> there was a dispute happening, bro. I was scared. I was like, I'm what? Home, what an angry Uber driver's got a G wagon. <laughs> my girl goes and looks at the car. This is her dream car, right? I really oh, did it for too. her. It's she her dream fucking wagon. car. Uh, she comes out. She goes, oh, my God. She's hugging me, kissing me. She walks back in. I'm in bed like, yeah, it's, it's poppy. Oh. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's poppy right mm. now. And what are you expecting? coming home delivering, uh, right? What are you expecting, She huh? come back in. She goes, man, it's like a boat. <laughs> <laughs> so I swear to God, I swear to God, I almost put that shit in reverse and just walked out the car. <laughs> I almost put it in reverse and just walked nah, out the car was... and let that shit drive. That's right. Down no. in Louisiana. Down in Louisiana. Drive it in with us. Bro. Sailed Slide away. <laughs> drive it off the bridge. Yeah. Off we the go, bridge. We going to make it a boat. It's been a we going to drive it right in the fucking canal. You keep calling this shit a boat, yo. <laughs> Oh my God, spending all my goddamn money, bro. Making uh, me spend my goddamn money. <laughs> Maybe that's a compliment, though. Girls love boats. You know nah, I mean? but you know what you got out? Now she knows maybe you don't want to buy it down the road. You spent this money now. Yeah, yeah. If you bought it down the road, it'd be like, what the fuck we got this for? Yeah, I'm not buying that down the road. Yeah, now you know. 
yeah, I'm not yeah. buying it. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's fire. Really? It is fire. It's my. It's yeah. also my girl's dream car, which I don't. I'm not. Yeah. I, we got an accord. Now, I'll we be gotta, honest with you. Though, this is something I really learned, bro. Like, it. It don't feel that good helping them achieve their dreams. Bro. Like, <laughs> like that's all they never tell you. Actually, yo, that's yo, a great yo, point. Yo, yo, like you thought it would, right? Like, yo, sorry. Yo, sorry. You thought it would, right? Like you're like, yo, this is. Oh, that was a good throw. You th- <laughs> yo, 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 yo. You thought it would. No, you thought it would because you're like, this is her dream car. I'm gonna get it. And, and, then, yeah. she, and, and they she, tell you that. They tell they you. They tell go, you it's the best thing to help someone achieve their dream. They're like, this is her dream. Yo, so yo, I'm gonna yo. help you live your dream. Yeah. They be waking up, man, quick. <laughs> so they wake up quick. They wake up quick. I can't get a rim cycle out this motherfucker. Not even one, bro. It's a boat. <laughs> that shit was a boat. I just got the G wagon. It's a boat now. <laughs> it's a boat. You described it as a boat. There's a lot of different. There's a lot of different words you could use to describe cars. Boat's not one of them. You could say this is my dream it's car. A dream come true. This is yeah. a dream come true. Yeah. That's it. Uh-huh. But you come back here with a boat. <laughs> <laughs> we got problems now. Oh now in the future, my dream. When you say something like, "Oh, that's my dream purse," I'm like, yeah, "You better get some sleep." Yeah. <laughs> Look, oh, it's, it's like a tote bag. You better get, you better get some sleep. It's for a gun. <laughs> it's like a backpack. Oh yeah, backpack. Because that's the only time you get in that. It's like a life raft, dude. bro. I love this. Unbelievable, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. I never thought I would feel that way. <laughs> but that's on her for making me feel that way. That, bro. I think that's I, female I, propaganda, bro. It is they, propaganda. They told us it's, it's so nice to help people achieve their dreams. I, help your girl I, achieve her dreams the best. I, lo- like. I thought I loved it. <laughs> and after experiencing it, I do not. Compared to achieving my own dreams, yeah. it's not even close. Bro. Son, you know what I get the same out of? This is what I get the same out of. <laughs> We're at dinner, right? And then she's like, should we get dessert? And I'm like, we getting two. <laughs> that's the same as getting a G-Wagon. Literally. The same reaction, the same reaction, yeah. the same reaction as a G wagon is two desserts. What's and at the, the end, she's like, "I feel like a boat." Like, <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm telling you, bro. Uh, to don't don't help them achieve their dreams, bro. It's not the return. The yeah. return on the investment is very similar. It's very similar to much cheaper things. Uh huh. Yeah, like two desserts is way better. Two desserts, wait, my yeah. my girl, I want to get you your dream uh, apartment. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. It's like a pool house. It's, it, it <laughs> does feel it. <laughs> Here we are. And card is going crazy. My card's going crazy right now. Amex not even stepping in the way. Step in. Step in. This is your job. Amex don't be doing nothing, yo. yo. When I Amex don't be doing nothing. When I want to buy some shit, you want to embarrass me? You want to step yeah. in and embarrass me, right? When I want to go buy a watch, when I want to go buy a nice fucking watch, Amex will immediately, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay? Yeah. This girl furnishing a goddamn castle, oh my God. and I don't get a single fucking interruption from Amazon. Yeah, will you do this for me if for this Amex. ever happens? What? If my girl spends way too much, I need you to call her from a secret number and say it's fraud. Yo, this is a great yeah. idea. Well, it's yeah. probably going to happen anyway, because you're yeah. probably using Andrew's Amex. Yeah. So <laughs> don't, don't even stress It's the up. house Amex. Everybody <laughs> in the house is more than welcome to use it, guys. <laughs> I'm surprised all the listeners don't know my fucking Amex yeah. by now. Bro, we're a hedge fund, dude. We, we are. Yeah. It's so we are. Funny. Yeah, we're, we are a fucking we're, hedge fund. Oh, we're bleeding so money, but we're a hedge fund. I, cause I, cause oh, my goodness, I'll be Christ. Looking, I'll be my looking. goodness, Christ. I'll be looking. I'll be like, I'm bringing Christ into this right now, son. I'll be looking at so many people with Andrew's Amex. I'm just like, what the hell is happening right son, now? Yeah. Son, Everybody got his Amex? Yo, literally, what is this? everybody in this room got my Amex. Not right? me. Everybody else. Yo, everybody in this room, Miles got my Amex. Yo, you don't got to rob. <laughs> everybody at home playing to rob me, you don't got to rob me. Rob them. They got all the information. You don't There's have to rob me. There's nothing you can get from me that you can't get from them. <laughs> Go rob them. Save me. <laughs> oh, my God. I constantly see, I'll be looking, I'll be like, I constantly see <laughs> shit too. I, that's, a, that's the issue. How did Mark get a platinum Amex? Oh, yeah. and Miles? How the fuck Miles got a platinum? Oh, shit. Yo, I'm so concerned with all my charges and shit like that. Alvin flying first class. I had to text Dove. I said, Dove, are you buying this motherfucking first class tickets with my Amex? Bro. I was, I couldn't believe it, bro. That's the Persian first class, bro. It might have been. That's how it goes. It might, on the Delta, I was like, oh, he's Delta. He could use his points. Now we're on American. He was flying first class. Yeah. I was like, Dove? Literally texting. While we're on the flight and I he's said, sitting Dove? in front of you in that first class, 
<laughs> and I'm like, no, he burned through his miles and paid a couple. Nah, he just keeps finessing, bro. By the way, that was garbage first class. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it was. The Mexican first class ain't worth nothing, yo. American is trash. Bro. If you ain't laying flat, get out of here. Yeah. Oh, my God. You, that's economy plus, bro. Get yeah, out of here. It really is economy plus, man. It was economy plus. <sighs> bro. Okay, I think I'm back. The commas, I think I'm dude. back. Say what? The commas. Andrew definitely paid me back for being in first class, though. Oh, yeah, I hit him. Oh, I hit him hard, bro. I farted no less than 700 times. <laughs> Jeez up, bro. I mean, that's G's up. I mean that sincerely, and yeah. it seems like I'm being hyperbolic. No, when I the say pilot that. came on and he was like, "We're experiencing uh, <laughs> <laughs> air pressure in the, in, the, in the cabin, but keep on ascending for the some reason." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little twitchy. Yeah. Sorry had, for the turbulence. Uh, we don't know what's causing it, but we're gonna get to the bottom of this right now. <laughs> There's a methane leak. In the oh cabin. my god, it was so foul, bro. They were they were sulfuric. Yeah. <laughs> The farts were sulfuric. Yeah, people were concerned. I still laugh. I remember Aaron told me a similar story on the podcast where he was farting, farting next farting. to a girl. I'd be farting. And then it was silent, and then she was trying not to respond. And at one point, dead silent, he farts silently, and then he just hears, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> From a lady. Son, this bitch was over it, bro. She was over it. She was doing my farts the whole fucking flight, and then she took one deep puff. She's went... <laughs> And this is pre-mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pre-mask. Dude, mask on, <laughs> you can still smell it. Mask off. Oh, it's all in there. It's game over, dude. This girl was <laughs> furious. And she knew exactly where I was coming from. Yeah, right there. No, no, no <laughs> condom, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so you were, payback, Yeah, bro. you were hitting Al with that, the one, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Al was right behind me. I was just letting it rip, dog. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. This felt so good. Just, <laughs> just air out your colon, dude. <laughs> Dude, I was nah, airing out get the that colon. Shit checked, so. I do have to. Actually, on that flight, I was like, I have a problem. Do you think you have more oh, colon? You just I now, have a problem. Really? I, have, shit six times a day. I shit you three just times now. a day, and I fart at least 150 times a day, and I think I have an actual physical problem. Do you think you have more colon? What do you think it is? Maybe it's how you stay I lean, think, bro. Maybe you're getting it all out. I think I am getting it all out. I think that does help me stay lean. Yes. Uh, but I also think that I have some sort of digestive issue that turns everything into farts. <laughs> yeah. High pressure, high pressure colon. Exactly. Yeah. Everything gets turned into farts with yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah. It's like different foods will come energy. out. There's mm. different types of natural yeah. gas over there. So Say what? Just going I am natural gas. E eco friendly. When you bro. Think I am fucking You're an environmentalist. Eco friendly. Nat this is methane. Yeah. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Whoa. There's some fracking going on in your ass. <laughs> they are fracking your ass. Big yeah, we got to find a way to utilize this. What if we could use the farts for energy? It's got to be a way. There has that to be technology a way. will come about. 100%. Yeah. Dove, you think about this? You look like something hit you. No, I'm Maybe just saying, you just smell the world. I'm oh. sure Bill Gates cow farts. On yeah, but that's cow, cow farts. farts, bro. Human farts is different. Yeah, Human farts are kind of lit. Um, all right, so should we talk about oh. another topic? No. Al's, Al's Doge debacle. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry didn't for interrupting his... that. You didn't interrupt. Go. <laughs> what? You didn't interrupt. I didn't interrupt. No. Okay, go. You were, you were trying to save your bank. I, oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I was interrupted. Yeah, Amex interrupted. Okay, so yeah. so I first of all, uh, this was so sweet because I did not know anything was going on with this, and I just saw Mark laughing hysterically. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it made me so happy. Oh my God. Okay, go. Well, Mark go. has so, been trying to get me to get Dogecoin for months. Yeah, now. I was trying to. Yeah, if you put yeah. in the amount of money you put in Bitcoin or Dogecoin, how much money would you oh, have? You'd be less. How much? No. Le less? How is it possible? With less. Less. No, it, at some it, point, less. At some point, less. What does that mean? It's it's go at some point, no, we're all dead. Not a real I just want to side with Akash. So whatever he says, I'm gonna agree. It's with. not a real thing. At it's not point, a real thing. You put the amount it means you have nothing. In yeah. Bitcoin in Dodge, you would be crazy right now. Yeah. You'd be out this world. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, how are you doing? How are you? Doing? Quit. Yeah. How are you doing? India's better than Scotland, right? Even with the drop. How are you doing? Dogecoin sucks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dogecoin sucks. Yeah. You have fire. What? Even with the drop, I broke even. I'm still good. Huh? Because what I happened? bought in early. All right, so basically, right, here's, no, story. here's what Al did, okay? So basically, uh, Al decided to take... Sorry, fucking, everybody. <laughs> Al took investing Thank advice from fucking... Pushing through that <laughs> moment of awkwardness. There were seven different conversations going on, but we finally have gotten back to our focus point, okay? Mark, tell right. the story about so how Al lost all his money. Yeah, we're in the green room, okay? and we're all talking about Dogecoin. We're like, dude, Elon's going to talk about Dogecoin in the monologue, and the sketch. It's going to spike. It's going to go super high. It's going to hit a dollar by Sunday, yep. and then it's going to crash by Tuesday, so let's all buy in now. It's gonna go big, and then we sell on Tuesday, and then we'll all make a ton of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was Miles' whole strategy. Miles is sort of our like. Uh, Miles is maybe the worst investor <laughs> in the history of investments. I think he is the worst investor. He really Every is. Every time he talks about investments, he lost. This motherfucker is the has gone all in on Dogecoin. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. Onyx. But this is the thing, though. No. And that stupid mustache. He, and he, sold, <laughs> <laughs> and he, sold it. he had Bitcoin and sold it dumb early. Yeah, he did. Dude, that's no, he did that with Bitcoin and Dogecoin. He bought Dogecoin, Dogecoin at like half a cent and then sold it at six cents. And then that was it. He's like, yeah, bro. I made my money. Made my money. All right, so go on. So boom, what so, happens? So Elon goes on. So Al put in all his money. So Al, Al goes, yo, I'm putting in five grand, okay? Puts up five Gs, throws into Dogecoin you an hour. You put up five. <laughs> oh, you hour, put up a thou. An hour before. Why are you trying to front on a podcast? <laughs> hey, I was going to let that go. Uh, <laughs> hey, flex I didn't me, know how bro. much it was. I <laughs> so he put in a grand in Dogecoin, which is still a lot of money. And yeah. then he puts it up, and then as soon as Elon goes on stage, <laughs> that shit drops. The second he goes up, that shit drops immediately. Drop falls like what thirty points, and I hit up Al, and he doesn't even know yet. Oh, so I just keep on watching it, <laughs> and I don't tell him. <laughs> and I just keep on watching it fall, and it keeps on going. I saw Mark's story with the Dogecoin price. and said, "This is so funny," and I didn't know why. Oh, that's that's so good. so funny. Laughing hysterically at my face. But apparently, Elon had a fucking sketch where he called it a hustle. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah, you got no. hustle. He's not an yeah, idiot. You got hustle, bro. Yeah, yeah the biggest dumbass. person, that, the biggest <laughs> yeah. proponent of it, don't call it a hustle. He's yeah, not, because we all know it's a hustle. Yeah, but as long as he doesn't we're admit to make that, money on the hustle. As long as he doesn't admit that, you're just fun. trying to make money while it's a meme. We know this, but there's no, 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 dummies no. like no, Miles that doesn't know. This. No. Don't, don't say we. <laughs> no, we know no, no. this. We know this. <laughs> you <laughs> but Miles thought it was going to the moon, baby. So you put in a grand. This bitch bought something. <laughs> <laughs> is that real? Can I look at the phone, please? To verify that it's real. <laughs> I mean, sometimes Andrew just, can I see? <laughs> you can look at the phone. You can look at the phone. Oh, it's oh my goodness. I'm just joking. Yeah. She didn't buy a thing. I just had to get us out of that moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so Al, how much did you lose total? I didn't lose anything. Oh my God, stop. What do you mean you didn't lose anything? Because I bought in early when it was low. So my initial investment, it kind of like cancels out. So it's like. Bro, you bought in the hour before the. Yeah, you bought in no, at no, the no. stock's I high. I had already. Ha I had if you count the money that he spent before. It how peaked. much you lose from the thousand? Oh, from down like $200. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> this is what I felt was the most interesting thing with the, the whole Dogecoin fiasco is. Um, it's in a weird way the proof of slippery slope, mm -hmm. but <laughs> from the side of the people, not from the side of like the oppressive, tyrannical government. Yes. So I go to Al, yo, are you just gonna sell it? You might as well just sell it. And then Al goes, I've been trying to go on Robinhood and they won't let me. Mm -hmm. I can't access my account or you just now couldn't. They wouldn't sell. let you sell. They wouldn't let you sell, right? Now, a few weeks ago when Robinhood did that with GameStop. We flipped out. We're like, yo, the FBI got to arrest this motherfucker. This yep. is an absolute crime. Like, how can this person not be in jail right mm -hmm. now? It's disgusting what they're doing. They're rigging the markets, et cetera. Right? Mm -hmm. People are like, I'm boycotting Robinhood. I'll never put my money with Robinhood. This yeah. is fucked up. It's <clears throat> fucked up what they're doing. Right? Three weeks later when it happens, Al is just like, yeah, it's annoying, but it is what it is. So the slippery slope is not often the government. It's the people allowing themselves to be oppressed. Yeah. So it's the government or, or the people in power are always going to try to you know utilize that power to get what they want. Yeah. Right. But the people's tolerance is what adjusts, and we've just become comfortable with the fact that if Robin Hood or these other accounts just don't want to let us sell our shit because it could benefit them, they might, and we just got to sit there and take it. That's kind of wild. Oh, yeah. I actually thought it was an issue with the structure, like too many people trying to sell at once. Yeah, that was because it started. Motherfucker, figure your shit out. <laughs> what is this? Too many people trying to sell at once. Your whole app is sell, buy and sell. Like you have two things to worry about. Yeah, but I think <laughs> buy and sell I, now. The whole thing is you could do it right now. I think what it says to me is the the be fucking. Crazy. He's extra solid, but he's like some people could buy all the time. You know what I mean? They buy <laughs> super easily. So they're buying always. Everyone's selling. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like when everybody tries to buy Jordans at once and the fucking app, the website just crashes. It's just only so many transactions a website. Yo, yo, yo. Make a better website, bro. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. I know. We're not you there. You got with my money. Imagine trying to get your money out the bank and the bank is like, yo, we're just too many people trying to get money out the bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck my dick. Yeah. You making money off my money? And then when I need to make some money, you're not going to let me? Fuck you. Yeah. That's crazy because you only had a thousand in there. Imagine you put a million in there. Mm. Now... Imagine you had a million in Robinhood and you're like, yo, I got to sell. I, yeah. I, this shit is going down. It wasn't going the way that I thought it was going to go. This is my kid's college fund, et cetera. <clears throat> yeah. Now all of a sudden it's not, oh, the website's down. Yeah. It's like, yo, you were stealing my money. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Now, with the GameStop <sighs> thing and the crypto thing, it's a little different just because, like, there's a precedent for GameStop where it's, like, with the with stock trading, like, there's, a, I guess, a history of how stock trading goes. Whereas, like, with crypto, it seems like it's just kind of wild. The wild west, baby. That's why like, we're crypto cowboys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, wait, wait, wait. I don't understand why. Like, because, like, trading, like, crypto is almost trading like a like a forex. It's like, a, like you're trading on, like, exchanges or something. It's like you're trading a currency almost. Whereas like with Bit or with GME, it's like you're trading like a stock, and there's a precedent in history for like how stocks are traded. So I think people being outraged by GameStop makes sense considering the precedent. Whereas like the crypto thing is just like can't sell crypto, and that's just what it is. Also, no, it isn't. What what benefit? Why is would it be? Hold on, hold on. Why would it be that? The the app never told you initially. They never said, hey, by the way, it's crypto, so we might just not let you sell it. The no, but in terms of the uh, like the cultural idea about like how people view selling the crypto. cultural idea about how you it, uh, view selling crypto is it's instantaneous. Yeah, it's actually more functional than traditional stocks because you can trade it in the moment and that and that gets minted to the blockchain in the moment twenty four seven twenty four seven. You it's the, the historical precedent is much better than stocks. That's why it's so shocking. I actually believe it with stocks because they've shut down the stock market before. They shut it down with the uh, in the Great Depression. They shut it down. I'm sure other times throughout history where shit was really fucked up. There's zero precedent for them abusing the markets like this. What do mm. they what do they gain from stopping people selling doge? Well, there's a run on the coin. But what but, is so, so they what? stop the run on the coin. It's like when the banks close because there's a run on the banks. Everybody want to get their money out the bank and the banks are like, "Oh, my bad." So Robinhood is super invested in Dogecoin? Maybe not Robinhood, but maybe what is it the people that own Robinhood or the people that uh pay Robinhood crazy money to get the um their trade information. Like the Citadel, Citadel, et cetera. Mm. So like the way that they make money is that like Citadel is this big hedge fund that basically buys their investor data. So now you have all of us investing and making these trades, buying or selling things, and that information goes to Citadel, and Citadel can make their big hedge fund moves based on all this buy and sell data. Yeah. So I what if Citadel, sorry, is super invested in a company, and they actually it would hurt Citadel in a huge way if there was a run on the coin. So yeah. Citadel might be, I'm not saying this is what happened, That's, but it yeah. is a potential. This potential. is hypothetical. Like the worst yes. case scenario, they go, yo, shut that shit down because we're going to lose mad money. And I think the difference is we are, it's hypothetical that there are hedge funds invested in Bitcoin, et cetera, in their best interest. And with GameStop, the whole point was, oh, a bunch of hedge funds are shorting GameStop. Fuck the hedge funds. Let's all buy GameStop and drive this. So you knew you were fucking the hedge funds and yeah, you knew and you were, you were it was in the hedge that. funds' best interest. This time there was no for sure... Uh, hedge fund behind it. We're thinking maybe there is. This is why the, this is why there might be because I believe that eighty percent of Bitcoin is owned by like the top one hundred uh, Doge. addresses. Sorry, sorry, Dogecoin. Mm -hmm. So what they're saying is like eighty percent of the coin wealth is centralized in only a hundred yeah. different people. Around a hundred people control Doge's entire forty six billion so dollar market. If forty six billion dollar market cap is controlled by 100 people you don't think a few of them are like hey, yo 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 al literally went on twitter the second his shit started to drop he was like buy doge yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? he's like i'm not letting this fucking coin yeah. fall imagine you could call up the dude from uh from uh what, what robin hood and be like hey, hey, hey cut that shit out for a little bit i'm not about to have this coin just go to the fucking to the floor yeah hmm i i Here's my question about Dogecoin. I don't want to get lost in the woods, but then couldn't you just make more Dogecoin? Like, isn't that the whole point? And never, you can never, it never, there's no like finite amount. No, I think they have a finite amount. They don't have a finite amount, but they have an amount. They don't have a rule on not making more, but they do have an amount that they say they were going to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Bitcoin, it, the, the way I guess the formula is set up yeah. is that it just stops minting at a certain point. Yeah. And they haven't already. done all the minting for Dogecoin. And that, and this is the real thing about Dogecoin, which is like, if Dogecoin can become popular enough, the minting money will go towards Doge. Right now, the minting money, I imagine, is with Ethereum, is with Bitcoin. But if people start taking that minting power and putting it on Doge, that's what drives the price up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they're like, oh, shit, there's more profit to be made if we're getting this Dogecoin than there is Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. It's so much mining to, to get a Bitcoin yeah. opposed to this Doge, which is yeah. currently going to the moon. Anyway, point is, it, it's just interesting how tolerable we can become of tyranny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's a Canada shit, bro. I'm, yeah. Yo, it's fucked up what's happening in Canada, bro. It's really fucked up. They're thinking about doing another lockdown. What? Canada got to Canada got to eat this, bro. They can't say nothing about healthcare ever again. Yeah, we got to close our borders. We can't let these Canadians I come in, yeah. take our healthcare. Yeah, I think low key, I think we did. We, that's what we need to do. Nah, we got to help them, bro. That's just they're refugees. 
So yeah. we do yeah, Canadian refugees. Yo, yeah. should we treat them like humans? Like if they get one foot in America and then they get yeah. some sort of like status or citizenship, uh-huh. a bunch of little Elian Gonzalez's. Mm. That'd be sick. Yeah. Canadians are nice. They'd be like good workers and stuff. Like mm. they want to come over. Nah, but for real, it is fucked up what's going on over there, man. And I guess maybe it's happening in other places as well. I heard like in Europe they might do another lockdown. I don't, I don't get it, bro. At a certain point in time, people are going to lose their It's not working. Bro. The lockdown's not working at a certain yeah. point in time. I mean, I don't know if Wheels is telling the truth, but like that Texas governor motherfucker every single day tweets about how low the cases are and how many yeah. people are vaccinated. And yeah. it looks like Texas is popping. Texas cracking open. I mean, Florida popping. We were in Arizona. Arizona might have been the wildest of all the places we've been. I've heard Arizona been open Son, it's, on the low. It's wild, bro. Like, yeah. And granted, you know, if vitamin D is the thing that actually stops you from dying from COVID, they got plenty yeah, of vitamin D out there, mm-hmm. son. Yeah. But it just shows them there's places that are fucking wide open. Yep. Man, we had so much fun in Arizona. Thank you, everybody who came out to the shows. Um, this was so... This shit was so much fun. We we were sitting around to like four in the morning just talk, telling stories. Yeah. Talking story. Yeah. This is what my boy Bobby calls it man <clears throat> hawaiians have a term just called talking story and we're up until four in the morning literally just like regaling parts of our like childhood yeah. Jamil was there we were talking about like old new york shit was happening like we were having so much fucking fun and it literally reminded me of burning man yeah it was just so cool to like sit down and just like I don't know, just connect with a bunch of people and everybody talk about their like most embarrassing stories. It was yeah. cool, like it was cool to like make fun of each other, but also like build each other up, like yeah. tell the coolest stories that ever happened in Jamil and also the most embarrassing ones. And it was, I don't know, it, it, we get le- at least lost in the sauce because a lot of times we live an amazing life and it's incredible, but a lot of times I think it's very wor- you know work focused as well. Mm-hmm. And we enjoy what we do, but you know we got to work on these bits for the stage. We got to work on this show. We got to work on these things for the podcast, and it's so much fun that it gets blended. But it, this was a few hours where there was no work at all. And mm-hmm. it was just like, yo, let's hang out, make each other laugh and have fun. And uh, man, that shit filled me up so much. Yeah. I was super grateful for that. Yeah, I learned a lot about you and and uh, Jamil and and, uh, mm-hmm. and Dove. I learned a lot about Dove. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's a little yeah, tense yeah, right yeah, now, you yeah, notice yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Al just yeah, jumped yeah, in the yeah, notes yeah, real big. Yeah. I, I saw <laughs> Al's icon yeah. and the yeah. notes just, nope. <laughs> maybe we tell that story on Patreon. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's a nope. Patreon story. That's a wild story. Bro, that's, Dove's story is crazy. Bro. Son, this is how wild it was. I forgot it. <laughs> like I forgot the wild part of it. Nah, you just yeah. made your own reality. That's what you did. I did make my own reality. You blocked yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah. trauma. That's you said it to me bro. once as a. I thought it was a joke. What you truly said? I was like, dude, like how do you deal with blah blah this this? Like I was asking you like genuine advice. You go, yeah, yeah bro, you just make your own reality. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, funny. That's a good one. No, yeah, you just do that. <laughs> that shit happened to me a bunch of times in my life. Really <laughs> fucked up things happen. I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Ass burger, dog. <laughs> yeah, That's it's great. I think I got burger. burgers, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're burged out. Dude. I got burgers, yeah, bro. You're the fuck, dude. I really you think are I big do. Mac. You are oh, big out. Mac. Um, what else happened, bro? A pee break. Yeah, let's do a little pee break. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because some of y'all are listening to this right now on some trash-ass headphones. You need to step it the fuck up, and you're going to do that with Raycon, okay? Raycon is offering you. They are offering you quality wireless earbuds that make all the difference, and I'm telling you this because the price point is absolutely amazing for what they are delivering, all right? You're going to lose your expensive-ass AirPods or whatever the fuck they are, and when you lose them, you're going to be pissed, and you're not going to want to buy them. Maybe you buy them again. Now you've wasted hundreds of fucking dollars when you could have just as good quality wireless earbuds okay just a good what for a fraction of the price this is a no-brainer you need something this is the one that you're going to use and you're going to go with raycon I, listen they look great they feel even better they come in a range of colors with customizable gel tips included for a comfortable inner ear fit some of us got bigger ears over here we need that shit to be adjustable and raycon got your back okay Raycons are built to go wherever you go with quick, seamless Bluetooth pairing and a compact charging case. I'm telling you, this is what you need to get if you're looking for some new earbuds. So Raycon is offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. You go to buyraycon.com slash flagrant. Then you have 15% off your entire Raycon order. And it's such a good deal. You want to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash flagrant. Go do that right now. Now let's get back to the show. All right, and we're back. Uh, okay. So we're out there in Arizona. We're cooling, chilling by the pool, and all of a sudden, people start hitting me up. They're like, yo, 
Chappelle's on Rogan and he's he's uh he's hating you on you, bro. He's throwing throwing shade at you, right? And I'm like, there's no fucking way did Chappelle be throwing shade or even hating or that I, that I would even be on his radar, right? right? Like so someone sends me the clip and I check it out. And uh, we let, let's play it. Let's play. It. They're doing things online, and like Andrew Schultz, the best example, I think. He started doing those things like long rants, like 10, 15 minute rants with photographs and punchline after punchline after punchline. And then they did a whole Netflix special about it. Like he did a series of Netflix pieces on it. And what he did was. He said, okay, I can't do stand-up, but this isn't stand-up, so I shouldn't do stand-up like this because there's no audience. So the key to this, and he figured it out. He's like, the key to this is you got to hit it fast. The punchlines have to come one after the other after the other. It's got to be fast-paced and with images. So like he would use all these visuals while he was hitting punchline after punchline. Oh, wow. He, he figured out a new way to do comedy. He figured out a way to do in internet Instagram 10-minute comedy. Well, okay, it was, it's, but, but that's not... Like you say, that's not stand up. No. Like, like this thing that you're describing, God bless him. Yeah. That's not what I do. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's different. It's different than the way he does stand up, which is interesting because his stand up is slower. He he holds laughs, he holds pause, he laughs at shit, he fucks around, he works a crowd a lot. His stand up is loose. Right. He has fun, he's comfortable up there. Right. But his these little clips that he does. On, on Instagram or rapid fire, bang, bang, bang. And he has, works with a series of writers. They all work together. They put these things together. They, they work it out, man. By, by the time it's done, I mean, it is a polished machine. But he used that time and innovated, you know? And That's clever. Yeah. I don't think I, yeah, it's not, but I'm not interested in it because <laughs> uh, no disrespect to him. I, I like happening in real life. Yeah. Like, like even during COVID, the, the fact that we found a way to get in front of the audiences again meant the world to me. That's what I do. Yeah. It's a different thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I could throw a slideshow and the shit if I want to, but that <laughs> crowd's not there. What's right. the fucking point for me? <laughs> I know what you mean, but for him, he's coming up still. You know, you'd already made it. Well, you no, just yeah. to get back uh, in there. Uh, yeah, and it's it's a whole different ball of wax. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that thing that he was, that evolution he was able to make, mm -hmm. that's I'm, I'm like the old guy who has that hot outfit from the 70s. Go fashion, go on without me. I look fine. I'm that. I'm, I'm good with what I... Um, first of all, Joe is the man. Yeah, that was so dope. Like, Joe you, is Joe. just the man, and he is like... He's so rare in that he celebrates other people's creativity and success yeah. like a lot of people who are even at the fucking top and you can't go higher than rogan you know they they still want to protect what they have so they won't celebrate joe's superpower is his lack of insecurity yeah it is what he like if i'm interviewing somebody that's smart or talking to somebody that's smart and i'm joe rogan i'm gonna always try to put little smart shit in there yeah, yeah, and, oh yeah. i need to come up with a good point because yeah, i'm yeah. insecure and i want to be like well i'm not dumb yeah, 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 yeah. i don't give a fuck yeah hey yeah, yeah. you talk i'm gonna that's why he's a great interviewer yeah and this is the same kind of thing where it's like i'm yeah. egoless here's a kid doing amazing things i love what he's doing yeah. flowers 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 yes on the biggest yes. stage possible flowers because yeah. i have no insecurity a lot of people that successful still have that insecurity and like well i can't get flowers because yeah. then they might not think i'm as dope as i am joe don't give a fuck yeah so and you are killing it so he's like yo andrew killing it yeah well that's we we're doing it that's yeah. not just me those things mark worked incredibly yep. hard he wrote them with Fair. me robbie as well fa you were helping out yep. them as well yeah, alex like miles with the pictures that was a group effort but it was so dope to see him give it up and like if there's one thing that i've like tried to like continue to pass on that i've definitely got from rogan it's like when you see other people doing dope creative shit yeah pass it on mm -hmm. and like you know, I hope that we've used this platform to expose you guys to new people that we think are really awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I I hope we've been doing that. I think we are doing it. I think yeah. we've been putting people on. I think that we've been sharing what we have with other people that hopefully you appreciate it. Um, and now to, uh, to Dave. Uh, I actually, let me just give some context to this. I think I would have reacted the same way as Dave, given how I was described. Because... Mm -hmm. If Dave has no clue who I am in terms of stand up, right? And 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 Joe's describing this like kind of YouTube or Instagram comedy, and you know how we all are. 
The second yeah. you told me about like a funny YouTuber or a funny Instagrammer, yeah. we're like, I don't give a fuck what that shit is. A little slideshow. Yeah. We stand-ups, yeah. Ups, yeah. Exactly. We're stand-ups. So it's just like, I understand that first reaction, yeah. right? And then, so I probably would have reacted the same way in that regard. But then when Joe's like, no, he's a stand-up, it's, it's different. And he's he found a way to evolve within the times. And then I think he was a little bit dismissive to it and he was like that's not my type of comedy that's not what i do and i guess the only pushback i would give there to dave is like dave is a household name not because of stand-up yeah but because of a different type of comedy and he's still on any sketch. list one of the goats that doesn't change that but you know but what I mean? most but like, people know him from Chappelle's show yeah like sketch show is what made him yeah a household name like if you think of like iconic Chappelle lines you're thinking of lines from yeah. I was a Dave Chappelle stand-up fan before the show. We and, love Dave as a stand-up. And it, was a, it wasn't a lot of people like that. I remember going to see him right before the show came out. It was He was at a theater, but it wasn't like... It was easy to get tickets. Right, right There was right, empty right. seats next to us. Yeah, It's not like he made it as a household name through stand-up. He didn't right. make it through stand-up. He used something else, and then we found him, and then, and then when we saw his stand-up, we're like, holy shit, this guy's fucking prolific. We love him as stand-ups. Yeah. We always knew how amazing he was. Right. And current living, go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And very few comedians break through just as stand-ups. A lot of them will have a show or something else. Exactly. Yes, 100%. It's very rare. Like fucking Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, some people will say me. Yeah. Because of YouTube. Nate Bargatze. Nate Bargatze is another mm -hmm. one. But um, but look, there, it, again, so I think that he would be a little bit more, I guess, maybe understanding of the other types of, of comedy. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all love the person-to-person -person interaction. Yeah. But, like, we're also not multimillionaires, and we can COVID test every single person that comes to do a show in a barn. Like, I don't have a barn. Yeah. Most people don't have barns. Yeah. And they don't have millions of dollars to pay for yeah. COVID testing and these types of things. Yeah. So was, there were limitations to what we could do, and we tried to work around those limitations. And then, so do I understand the reaction? Yeah, I think people made too much of it. Like, there's some fucking beat, or like, he's hating on me, or a shade, or that kind of shit. Like, I really don't think it is that. But I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just me. I think yeah. he caught himself, and I've we've all done this. There's nothing wrong with this. You're being a little salty, and then you catch yourself... And I think that's where he said the end part. Like, I'm the dude at the in the 70s with the hot outfit. Like, this oh. is what I do. I think he, he was like, I like think, I'm hating. Okay, let yeah. me explain why I'm hating. Let me not hate. And I think he was thinking, I'm kind of hating. We've all done this, where you're yeah, like, yeah. I think I'm kind of hating. Let me check myself and be yeah. real with myself and say, yeah, but I'm the, you know, I'm an older dude who been doing stand up 30 years. This is what I know. This is what I'm gonna do. I think he caught himself. Mm. I do think he knows a little bit about. You for sure, us for sure, this podcast for sure. Right. Dave's a plugged in dude. One of the coolest moments in my life as a stand up is somebody telling me this is before Flagrant really cracked off. Somebody telling me a story of Dave Chappelle watching my Heckler video twice, watching it once, playing it back for his friends. One, I fucking scream like a fucking groupie. It was the greatest moment yeah, yeah, as yeah, a stand up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's great. Also, and that's to give Dave his flowers. That still means the world to me, but he's also incredibly plugged in. He knows right. what the fuck is going on. He knows we've had clips where we might have been critical of certain things he did. Yep. I think we tried to be three-dimensional and still give him his flowers as one of the greatest of all time. Yep. To me, probably the greatest of all time. But I think he was a little bit salty about that and took a one or two shots. And then to his credit, checked himself. I was like, you know what, man? I don't need to do that. I'm fucking Dave Chappelle. Right. So let me give the, the, my own... This, yeah, this is what and I know. And it is what most people who are, are OGs do. Like, Joe is the exception. Joe's the the OG who's like, I want to give everybody flowers. Yeah. Like Charlemagne's like that. Like yeah. Charlemagne's the OG that like, he just wants to, to share and like bring people up, et cetera. And then there are also some OGs and I got these fucking tendencies too. It's like, everybody's like, yo, you got to get on TikTok. And I'm like, the fuck am I going to do on TikTok? Yeah. yeah. And if a TikTok you know guy popped like, off, we'd be like, fuck that little guy. And then it, as a evolutionary thing, you're growing up. You'd be like, you know what? Let me check myself. Yeah. I'm old. This is what I know. Yeah. I think yeah. that's what Dave was doing. I have no problem with it. I don't think he was taking a shot. I think a moment of insecurity is allowed. Or yeah, yeah. a moment of hating or whatever you call it is a lot. And then he was like, well, I don't It was care. funny because Joe's trying to describe like what we do. And then Dave's like, Dave's like, that's just not what I do. And Joe's like, yeah, yeah we're not talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're talking about what this other guy does. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I, but that's not what I do. He's yeah. like, yeah, I know, but you already made it. Yeah. Like they're trying to make it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. what, what, I, I didn't I, listen to the whole buildup, but like it seemed like, uh, yeah, kind of similar to what you're saying. If someone were to ask you like, I don't know, you like certain like prank YouTube videos or something. Yeah. But if someone were to describe it and you hadn't seen it, 
And they were like, oh, yeah, these guys, they mess with people in the grocery store. You'd yeah. be like, that's not what I do. Exactly. Like, Especially if it's in the, in the context of stand-up. Yeah, and talking about stand-up and talking yeah. about what you do. Yeah. And someone goes, oh, you know who else does great stuff? This guy that does these prank videos. And you yes. Go, I don't, that's not You're like, But do. this is not stand-up. Even like, though you actually do like those things, you just right. might not have seen it. That's what I saw it as yeah. kind of like when I rewatched it, you mm -hmm. know? But then when they, then Joe was like correcting it and describing what was going on and all these things, right. and, I don't know, it seemed like a little bit... You know, yeah, I'm PowerPoint Schultz, bro. What you, you know what I'm saying? We out here. But I think he, at the end, I think he came around and was like, yeah, but I'm also, I'm old. I'm the dude from the 70s. Right. Like, this is what I know. So I was like, hey, that's, he gave a three-dimensional view of it in the end. Yeah, he I, like, I, I wasn't mad. People put a lot of gas on it. I wasn't. Because it's fun. It's fun it, to put it gas is on fun, it. It's fun, I guess. And I guess you could definitely interpret that way. What were you going to say, Al? I was just going to say, um, like, I agree with what Mark said. And also, he just talks like a goat. Like, imagine yeah. MJ, Kobe, yeah. and somebody talking about how somebody else plays. He's like, yeah, but he don't do what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So He's like, like, MJ said about LeBron, you just got to force him left. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. like, I don't even necessarily take it as shade. It's just like, hey, I'm just so focused on what I do that yeah, like, yeah. everything else doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I, the only pushback I would give with that is like, that that isn't what you did to get here. You did do other things to get here. You did try to like evolve sketch. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You did try and you had the most prolific sketch show in history. So you would think that there maybe be some understanding to the comics who are trying to get to that same place. But but again, he might have no clue what the context is. And then maybe he afterwards goes, Oh shit, I did see those things. Oh, now I know what it is. So I, I can't put too much yeah. too much gas on it. Um that's the thing about it. It's like as much as I would love for like one of my fucking idols and heroes like Dave to be like the biggest fan of the of the thing. Like for me, it's so easy to get caught up in the person that's not uh, maybe enjoying your shit or doesn't care or it, what I guess the word he was like uh, it's I'm not interested or whatever right. but at the same time I got one of my other idols and my heroes going oh my god this is great stuff he did yeah. the best thing yeah. during the pandemic it's like I'm gonna choose to po focus my energy there when I was younger I probably wouldn't be able to do that and as I get older like Man, what a fucking blessing, man. The fucking yeah. goat Joe yeah. Rogan is saying, yo, we did some amazing shit and, you know, we did yeah. the best thing yeah. during the pandemic. And, and he thinks it's worth bringing up to Chappelle. Worth like, bringing up to the, the living goat with, with comedy. He was yeah. like, I don't know, for me, that's a, I think we should be very proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. And I could check my ego and it is what it is. Maybe Chappelle will see it one day and maybe he'll change his tune. And, and if he doesn't, that's fine too. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I think I think the takeaway from this is I'm not gonna get a Chappelle chain anytime soon. <laughs> and uh, and you know what? I can live with that. I think I'll be okay. You know, and if, if Dave wants to rethink that, then um, you know, we can have that discussion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bro, we don't even get chains though. Son, That's fucked up on I, your part. I should get y'all chains. How bro. dare you? Hmm. What should I what kind of chain should I get? Do it starts. What? <laughs> star David. Do we get Jewish stars? Oh, Star David. That'd be sick. <laughs> star of Chelsea. Yeah. Star of, yeah. Star no, of Andrew. Never, dude. I yeah. could fucking never. But we we should do we should get something like jackets or something for tattoos flagrant tattoos. Of your face. Varsity yeah. jackets for the fucking Definitely my face. About, <laughs> Definitely my face. Um nah, we should have something like that. Like a gang has a bandana. We need a fucking bandana or something, dude. Yeah. We need some sort of symbol. Yeah, that embodies the family and friendship. <laughs> Fuck you, looking at me because he's talking about gangs. gangs, and they do have the coolest. Been like, staring way at connecting. me the moment he said gangs. I know because he's <laughs> right. You're the only one who's been in the gang here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had a sign that we don't really throw up anymore. But white supremacists out here. What you been to call me? What you been to call me? Throw it out, fucking. Bro, we got oh, that. that we'll was one this. thing that I surprised people aren't talking about. Sorry to bring this back, but Elon threw that up. What during the um. We can update. What did he say? Nah, he threw this up. Asshole army. Yeah, bro. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. yeah. He's on the back. Patreon. He's on we the bringing Patreon. it back, baby. Oh, get us Elon, Elon dog. Get us Elon too. Dove, take this podcast to the moon, bro. Get us Elon. Uh, yeah, we need Elon, right? We need Elon, off, dog. dude. We need to have a whole barbecue on this fucking show. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Let's to the cookout. Bet Welcome money. To the cookout, boys. Bet money. We can make Elon funny. We can do what SNL could not. Let's do it. Bet money. Can I have your phone and text Rogan? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I, might need a, I might need to shoot a text. <laughs> Can't go through Chappelle. So. <laughs> uh, what else we got going on, boys? You slide your text. <laughs> what, do <you> think? <laughs> what do you think about... Uh... All right, guys. We're going to take a break for a second because I'm going to save your fucking life. Okay? I'm not joking around. We've got a cure. 
and it's liquid IV. You want to get hydrated three times faster? I mean, it's unbelievable what this does. It's literally some powder in a little packet, okay? You dump it in your water, mix it up, and boom, you are going to feel so much fucking better. It's unbelievable. I can get into the science of it, okay? What is the science? They have five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, or as much potassium as a banana. They're healthier than sugary sports drinks, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. They're made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, free of gluten, dairy, soy. But here's the thing. What makes the liquid IV so effective is cellular transport technology, okay? The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream, okay? It's the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. Think about it. Water works. This is crack water, okay? If hydration is your key, take the crack water because it's going to get you there faster. One stick of liquid IV and 16 ounces of water can give you as much hydration as two to three bottles of plain water. You're drunk. You know how you have some water before you go to sleep and then all of a sudden you feel better when you wake up in the morning? Why don't you do this? Because it's like having three times that much water. Bye-bye, hangover. Adios. Anyway. The company is donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. Liquid IV has donated over 10 million servings globally. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code flagrant at checkout. That's 25% off anything that you order when you get better hydration today by using our promo code flagrant at liquidiv.com. Now let's get back to the show. What do you think about what happened with the the the, the Pauls and Floyd Mayweather? Was it staged? Of course, to a certain extent, but then there was some shit that was real. Like, like Floyd was leaning into it when he was running around afterwards, like, I'm gonna kill that motherfucker, yeah. I'm gonna kill him. Like yeah. he Floyd knows the cameras are on and he's gonna charge us up because he's yeah. like the more promo we do today, the less I have to do until the fight. Yeah. If this shit flop, then he got to do another promo thing. He's got to go and do some more stuff. And they had an amazing promo for I, I'll tell you this. You can't say Jake Paul made his career off of Logan Paul. If anybody ever said that before, that's done. Yeah. Because Logan is getting a lot of help from Jake right now. I mean, Jake... Jake really, really stole the, the show, man. He did. He, he made really it more stole the show. He fucking stole the show. And it's so funny, man, because like... I really like Logan. Yeah. Like, because he's so fucking likable. Like, yeah. even off air, just talking to Logan, yeah, he's a good he guy. is a good guy and genuinely likable. Yeah. Like, nice, kind person. I mean, I remember asking about fucking NFTs and shit like that. He just immediately hooked me up with his NFT thing. Randomly hooked me up with this kid in Tennessee. He's like, he's like yo, this is good for you guys to meet. Just out of nowhere. Yeah. Genuinely good, right? Um, so I think it's hard for him to play heel. Yep. He had one time in his life where he did some fucked up shit and it was out of character. Like out of character, meaning his character, I think, is more profitable when he's likable. Okay. Because that is closer to who he is. Okay. Jake can play the fuck out of a heel and yeah. ain't nothing more interesting than a heel. Yeah. Floyd has been so interesting his whole life since he started becoming a heel. Yep. Connor, incredibly interesting as a heel. Mm -hmm. It is hard to be the face. Yeah. I mean, think about characters in wrestling or anything else that are a face and likable. Even the great Tom Brady is best when he's poking fun, when he's being petty, oh, when yeah. he's talking shit, when he's leaning into heel. Yeah. Nobody want to care about the Tom Brady, oh, we worked really hard, we passed everybody, we did all this shit. Fuck that. We care about him posting pictures of the team that got their ass bust saying talk shit again or whatever the yeah. fuck he was saying. You know how, I don't know if this applies, but in wrestling, when you want to make a guy popular, you'll make him a heel first. And then have everybody him hate him, and then you flip. It's easier. Yeah. It's an easier road to popularity Yeah. that I don't suggest that Logan plays, even though I've come on this podcast and I'm like, it's easier if he plays the heel, blah, blah, blah. It will be easier if he wants to just make money and then this is the big fight. If he just goes full fucking, if he goes full Tiki Torch alt-right, this fight would make $200 million. Yeah. But then what do you do the rest of your career? The kid's no. still young. Yeah. I think you're going to make less because you're not the heel and it's harder to sell, but... I think it's a better long play for your career. Yes. If for whatever reason, and I do not see this happening at all, but if for whatever reason he ends up beating Floyd, yeah. the guy's fucking, the guy could be president. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the guy could be fucking president. Imagine not retard Rocky. 
That's Logan Paul. Uh, he, he beats Floyd. He beats <laughs> Floyd. Rocky Imagine. got a statue he couldn't even read. <laughs> <laughs> He's a full fucking retard, this guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine a well-spoken guy goes and fights against, essentially, the Apollo Creed of the real world, Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Imagine he wins that fight. And he's well spoken and funny and charismatic. What could that guy not do? The retard got a statue, a real statue for a movie character. That is kind of all right. I see that. The not tard. Yep. With also, hating Asians yeah. is an all time high. Yeah. That's the only bad thing that he's done in his career. I think a lot of people forgive it right there now. There you go. <laughs> I think they might. I really think they might. Good now point. is the fucking time. Run. Yeah. yeah. Run for if he beats Floyd, he has to run for office. It has to. The Rock and Logan Paul. And oh I'm sorry, Rocky, God. but you got to be VP. <laughs> you got to be VP. Huh? VP slash security. Debuggins. VP slash security. Let Logan do it. No, nah, Logan's a face. Logan is going to be. Debuggins. <laughs> <laughs> Logan's a face. I don't see what's so funny. So Logan's president is just like the Bushes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and then Jake can be like George Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the C the, student the junior. smoking yeah. weed, doing coke, fucking bitches on the side. And then he eventually runs. We're like, hey, this ain't that bad. Well, here's what's so <laughs> genius about their strategy to let Jake be the heel. Yeah. Is now he's he's still doing promo for whatever his next fight yeah, is. Yeah, that's great. And Logan is letting him do promo for this fight. So they're getting Man. promo two fights out with this one thing. Run with it, boys. Yeah, it's brilliant. Fucking run with it. Brilliant. I mean... And it's, Logan be like, oh, I got to protect still, my brother. That's are such we a still Logan. Interested you know in I mean? seeing Logan and Floyd, or do you much yeah. rather want to see Jake and Floyd? I think, I think, I think we always want to see the heel in anything. Yeah, right. But I am more interested in Logan Floyd now just because of that press. I topic. yeah, I don't. And know also the shit talk, like, like the shit talk was kind of wild. Remember when Floyd said something to him like, uh, you know, don't disrespect. Uh, you know, Japan or something like that. Like, you disrespected Japan. And Logan was like, you disrespected your wife <laughs> or something like that. Like, I don't know. exactly. Like, they were going, they were deep cut going back and forth. And it was enough to get me kind of into it. I was like, okay. I need to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only saw the fight, so I didn't. Because, yeah, I only saw the fight. And I'm not necessarily interested in Logan and Floyd, but I'm a little more interested for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely more interested in Jake. So you got two fights where you peaked interest. Yeah. 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 They, and you saw Jake's tattoo? The gotcha hat thing. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, this guy was selling hats that said gotcha hat yeah. within an hour. Before he even took the hat. The guy planned to take the hat. <laughs> yeah. Like, he understands the game. This yeah. guy understands the game, and he doesn't care if you like him or not. He gets to make the decision what will get the most clicks. Mm-hmm. Without considering how he will be viewed yep. in that decision. Yep. Yep. That is valuable. That is liberating. It's a superpower. Be exactly. Because think about it. We could all say the craziest shit. Like, uh -huh. I know how to get the most fucking clicks on that Chappelle conversation. Yeah. Just go in, trash, make it look like Chappelle's just trying to undercut. Hey, like, we could clickbait the fuck out of that if we want. But it's not authentic. It's not real. Yeah. Okay? That guy knows how to get clicks and can lean into whatever direction. And if you underestimate him, you think he's stupid, I'm telling you, you're the stupid one. And he's going to take your ass to the fucking bank. Yep. Uh, the kid knows how to he's get stupid it. stupid like a fox. What's that mean? St like that everybody, yeah, they, you think they're stupid, but they're actually They know exactly what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. That's a Texas kid right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a <laughs> yeah. He's got old yeah, yellow references. Full Texas right there. Right there. I've been right. doing that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Another fight uh, this weekend that was amazing we watched in the green room was uh, the Canelo fight against uh, I heard about this Billy Joe Saunders. It. And Canelo, um, Canelo needs these fights, man, because he is the best right now. Mm -hmm. He could go down as one of the best ever. But if he doesn't have strong opponents, there's no interest. Yeah. This was a strong opponent, so we watched, right? Yeah. These past people he was fighting these bums, we didn't give a fuck about. This was a strong opponent. We watched. It is in Canelo's promotional company's best interest to start building up the fighters he's about to fight. Yeah. Because if not, we're not going to watch and we're not going to witness the greatness. Yeah. We watched this time and we witnessed fucking greatness. Yeah. I mean, that man is nice with it, bro. Yeah. And if I'm DAZN or whoever the fuck is promoting him officially... All I'm doing is dumping money into every other contender, making them look like beasts, making them look amazing, convincing the public that they're a worthy opponent, the same way the UFC did that shit with Khabib. Everybody Khabib fought, the UFC convinced us, this is going to be the one. Justin Gaethje, this is going to be the one. Mm -hmm. Justin Poirier, this is going to be the one. Connor, this is going to be the one. They knew damn well none of them was going to do shit. Right. So you need to do the same thing with Canelo so you can build up his legend. Mm -hmm. That is the beauty of having one promotional company have all the fighters yeah. is you get to build up all these other motherfuckers so your star yeah. looks dominant. Yeah, Build it up, man, because that guy's special. Mm -hmm. and, it, and unfortunately, if you're not Mexican, you don't give a fuck. 
Yeah, I don't. The Mexicans do. 70,000 of them inside Dallas Stadium. I watched the Triple G fight, maybe the first or second one. They had three, right? Two. Two. Yeah. The first one, a lot of people thought he lost. Yeah. And second one, I think more people thought Canelo won. Okay. And then I think the first one was even a draw. It was a draw. Yeah. But a lot of people thought he lost. A lot yeah. of people thought Triple G got hosed. Second one, he won, correct? Yeah. So second he's one. lost to Floyd only. That's his only loss. Uh, yeah. And then he has two draws. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, that's a fucking good record. I you mean, could go down as one of the tons books. of fights. The guy's yeah. been fighting since he's a fucking teenager. Yeah. Like it's it's unbelievable. But he just keeps getting better and better, man. Like if you really want to really want to see greatness, that guy is truly great at what he does. Mm -hmm. He's fighting overweight. Like he shouldn't be this at, at 168. The guy should be fighting at 154, 160 maybe. Mm. He should not be fighting at 168 against these much bigger guys and he overpowers them. He can't be hit, but it's it's truly impressive what he's doing. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Is he gonna get any of those like legacy fights? You think like Pacquiao or any of that? Shit? Well, I don't think that that's interesting anymore because those guys are so old. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the state of boxing is is very hard to build up star power right now. Nobody's really interested. None of these boxers have uh, engaging enough personalities via social media. They might be engaging, but they don't know how to get that shit across social media. Mm -hmm. So we can't create those big money fights. It's it's a real fucking shame, man. Because right. you won't notice how great he is unless he has great people to fight against. Yeah. You're only as good as your opponents. Yeah. You know, it's... <sighs> Let me ask you a question. I remember when him and Floyd fought. Sergio Chacon said something to me like, Floyd is very smart, and that's why he's fighting Canelo now. Because he knows Canelo's going to get better. I hate this I hate this argument because it discredits Floyd. It's like, Floyd either fought them too early or fought, fought them too late. or fought. It's like, nah. So Floyd to that is end, better. So yeah. to that end, is Floyd, Floyd then still better than Canelo now? You think? Is that something you can answer? It's tricky because Canelo is fighting at 168 pounds and Floyd only fought the highest he ever fought was 154. He should have never even fought at that weight. Yeah. So it's like, I I don't think anybody could touch Floyd. Mm -hmm. And I think Floyd would have solved whatever puzzle. Yeah. And maybe that's against Canelo, but yeah, I don't think he could. Canelo believes that he would knock him out. They've yeah. asked Canelo. He's like, yeah, if I was in my prime, I fought Floyd, then I'm knocking him out. You're not knocking him out. Nobody could knock him out. And the same thing is likely going to happen. Maybe he lands a few less punches, but it's going to be hard to hit you, but it's going to be even harder to hit him. Yeah. I remember watching that fl that fight and being yeah. like, oh, this is fucking Floyd. I was there on. live, bro. That yeah, shit was crazy. Yeah, put on a show. Like, uh, it was incredible. It, it, I mean, it was easy. It was light work. No, yeah. I mean, people were shocked how light work it was. But I hate that argument to discredit Floyd. They always say, like, he fought people too late or too early. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, no, bro. He fights them when they're valuable enough. Right. You know, if the big money fight is there, that's when he fights them. Yeah. You know? it's. But everybody wants to try to discredit the king, man. Anyway, what else we got, boys? All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because living with chronic pain is the fucking worst, and you do not have to. I'm going to tell you how right now, okay? Get divorced. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's more than a feeling of discomfort, okay? It can affect your whole life. Many of our listeners probably have some type of pain that's prevented them from relaxing, sleeping, and stopped them from exercising. Perhaps it's been ongoing for weeks now and hasn't improved with any treatments that they've tried. Enter Omax Health. If you're looking to get rid of nagging muscle, joint pain, cramping, or backaches immediately while providing long-lasting recover, uh, recovery, then you need to try natural breakthrough pain relief solutions. CryoFreeze Sport Roll-On developed by Omax Health. Omax's new sport formulation includes a deeply penetrating and potent punch of 8.5% of FDA-approved menthol levels to instantly ice out and block pain receptors, reduce inflammation, and improve muscle and joint flexibility. The best part is this 100% natural remedy works its magic within five minutes of application and relief lasts up to eight hours, much longer than the over-the-counter products. You will immediately feel less stiffness and more mobility. This is a no-brainer. Omax Health is offering our listeners 20% off a full bottle of cryo-free sport pain relief roll-on. This discount also applies towards any product site-wide. Just go to Omax Health. That's O M A X Health.com today. Enter the code flagrant. Okay. O M A X Health.com and enter the code flagrant. You get 20% off crowd free sports and site wide products. Go do it right now. Now let's get back to it. We saw Bill Gates getting in some, Ooh. getting in some more trouble. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This is so interesting, man. Bill Gates and Melinda Gates have split up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Melinda comes out and says one of the reasons for the split 
was because of what? Oh, God, I was right. rolling his eyes already. Well, let right. me just get it out. Yeah, get it out. One of the reasons for the split was because of... You're a hater, bro. Hater, bro. <laughs> <a> haters, bro. <laughs> that will be great, dog. Yeah, son. He said one of the, she said one of the reasons for the split was because of Bill's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Okay? And she just couldn't tolerate it, tolerate it anymore. She found out about the meetings, and then she started trying to file for divorce, I think, back in 2019. Yep. And I guess when the official uh, you know, Wall Street Journal, New York Times article came out about their relationship. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, this just proves what a fucking just wretched whore Hillary Clinton is, dude, when you think about it, right? Yeah. Like Clinton, Hillary Clinton has no feeling in her heart or pussy the fact that she would still be married to Bill Clinton after he was besties with Jeffrey Epstein and Melinda Gates, who knows likely her husband's a scumbag, right? Like on at bare minimum, just a business scumbag, mm -hmm. not even like a human being scumbag, but like willing to rip you off and being like really tough in negotiations and willing to like crush companies that are going to try to get in his way. Basically, not the most. What she was also like a corporate exec at Microsoft. Like she might be also a scumbag. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like very. She true. might be a ruthless businesswoman. Very true. She I married him when he was the richest man in the world. That's her businesswoman. But I yeah. feel like she's a corporate exec to Microsoft in the same way like Memphis Bleak is a corporate exec for Rockefeller. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just like, all right, well, I got to give him a job somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, Melinda come Bleak. on, Memph. Yeah, this is Melinda Bleak. So it's like, she want to be on the foundation? All right, be on the foundation, bitch. Like, do whatever you got to do. How, how do I get to go away once a year with my ex-girlfriend? If you're on the foundation, you want to give away all your money so I can't go away? Did you guys hear about that part? No. You know? Uh, yeah. yeah, we're like, wait, wait, which part? For Bill Gates had a oh, ex-girlfriend oh, he got to take one vacation a year with. Yeah. Who's not not a piece? Decent feet. <laughs> I looked at the feet. Wow. Decent feet, bro. Decent feet. Decent feet. But you how awful is Hillary Clinton, bro? <laughs> but that chick is ugly, son. Yeah, but you her can... feet was were fine, bro. So cute feet or decent okay? feet? Yeah. You're Bill Gates. You shouldn't be having to put up with decent anything. Yeah, you're true. But like Bill Gates don't believe he deserves pussy, bro. Bro, he's a romantic. That's what it is. He's romantic. He yeah. loves this girl. Yeah, he he loves wants to talk girl. about you know hedge fund shit with her. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Back to uh, I don't want to bring Hillary into it, but it is shocking that like <laughs> this bitch does talk about believe all women. This bitch don't believe no women, bro. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. there one woman that Hillary Clinton believes, bro? Yeah. Is there yeah, the a ones who voted for her? Woman? Just the ones, no, who, the voted ones who voted for her. I don't even know if she believes those bitches, to be honest with you. Yo, it's unbelievable, dude. Even women don't like her. I, I, yo, your, your husband was best friends with a pedophile. Yeah. You're not going to question that a little bit. You're not even going to come out and be like, yo, he should have used better judgment than to hang out on an island with the pedophile. Yeah. Even if he didn't fuck no girls, just yeah. to go to the island a lot or hang out with him. Yeah. There's, there's no remorse whatsoever. Like even Trump came out and he was like, I don't want to make this a fucking Trump thing. But wasn't, didn't he come out and be like, nah, they were weird and there's some weird shit's about yeah, to happen something, to them. Something about he likes them young or something like that. Didn't he, he say something weird, weird going is going to happen to them? Like, yeah, 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 he was like, yeah, Epstein and, you know, like some young and Prince Andrew's hanging out with him and all that shit. Yeah. yeah. So even he was like, yo, that's fat. And then Trump is a wild ass boy. He also yeah. wished Gillian Maxwell well. So like, yeah, I don't know. Sarcastic. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, it's free her. Son. <laughs> free her. Son. Yo, get late. <laughs> we were talking about that on the train. The uh, not but the train in the airport, whatever that shit is. <laughs> and, uh, sky train. Sky train. Yeah. Are you really just called a plane a train, bro? Not a train. It's like airport, calling a car a boat, train, bro. It's like calling a Jew <laughs> a boat. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but like we we're talking about that, like, yo, is this how Galen gets out? Like, if she feeds the feds, Bill, is that a big enough name? Bill Gates, is yeah, that yeah. a big enough name where we go, okay, Galen, you can leave, you can go scot free. Bill had this bitch killed, no problem. You think, bro? No yeah. problem. Bill gonna have this bitch killed and fucking Victoria's Secret guy, you could fear him? Vic Bill had that guy killed too. Wexler, whatever his name is. A Wexner. Wexner. Bill yeah. had everybody killed. You think, bro? If you're not Bezos, Bill Gates could get you. You think, dude? Elon Musk, Bill Gates could get you. You, you two Bill, out here. You think Bill Gates could get him? Yeah. Nah, 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 n
She had the khakis down to here. The way I, I wear my pants. I think you just grabbed <laughs> yeah. the last episode, I think, I, I think I was looking at me, bro. I think <laughs> yeah. I might have been looking she had at a me. Mustache, That's a good, hair fuck, gel. dude. I got caught again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. This shit is wild. What do you what do y'all think about it? I think she's just trying to make a case to justify how much money she's gonna ask for. Because mm. the bitch deserves nothing. You deserve nothing. You got the freest ride of free rides. You married the mi- the richest man in the world for 27 years, and now he gotta pay you, you bitch. Yo, Mackenzie was there from day one. You hopped in, you got the fucking, you lived in a mansion for 27 years. Your wildest fantasy is fulfilled. He fucks one ugly girl, ugly girl once a year. That's all you get. And you think you're going to come for some billions, bitch? You greedy bitch. How fucking dare you leave Disneyland and then want to take the rides with you? How fucking dare you, you cunt? I hate this bitch. So now to justify her worth, she's got to be like, oh, he was a pedophile and I had a problem with it. No, you didn't, bitch. That is true. No, you didn't. She didn't bring it up before. Yeah, now all of a sudden it's a problem. You can't divorce a guy right away when you find out he's a pedophile. Two years it's got to take. But it's also like... I hate this bitch, yo. <laughs> How do you feel, I bro? I violently hate this bitch feel? so much. Not to defend her, but like, don't... Wives always got a problem with like one of your friends. Yo. You know what I mean? Like, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is true. Like, every wife got a problem with one of her husband's friends. You have to. So maybe she was just like, all right, that's that's the guy I don't like you hanging out with. Like, <laughs> I just would prefer if you didn't hang out with him. You always do wild shit when you're with him. He brings out the worst in you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like being a pedophile. Like being a pedophile. Yeah. Like, why were you staying so late? It was past some girls' bedtimes, bro. Like you should. <laughs> Bitch just found out he a pedophile. You married twenty seven years. This just came up. Also, yeah, you gotta, it's convenient. You time. gotta be a little Stupid embarrassed bitch. if you bring Bill Gates to like your island. You know what I mean? Like, cause he's probably got multiple islands. Like, I would yeah, be but he don't got them kids on his island. It's the attractions. It's not the island. Yeah, it's not it. the geography. Yeah, 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 yeah. But island's not impressing Bill Gates. Like, why else would you go? Did Bill Gates go to the island? Nah. So. Nah, he ain't go to the. So fuck this right? bitch, yo. Yeah, I hate yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucking hate her. You need to have that. I hear what you're saying. You wanted that same energy from her before. Yo, yeah. It's mm-hmm. just she's gonna ask for a ridiculous amount of money. Is she gonna ask for more than Mackenzie, Bezos? I promise. Percentage and wise, I don't know about percentage wise, but I think gross amount. Yes, that's that's what I think. And she's got to justify it somehow. Yeah. So let me take the moral high ground of oh, I didn't like him hanging out with Epstein, which is the easiest fucking moral high ground to but take. Wouldn't you even though you said that? nothing for years? Wouldn't you save that? He's starting the PR machine now. It, what'd she save? As soon as it came out, they're getting divorced. Oh, here's why. But what I'm trying to say is like, wouldn't you hit him up like, yo, I want this amount, and then he's like, you're wilding, and then she's like, nah, you were wilding with Epstein. Remember that? Even then, thirty-seven billion—that is too much. Yeah. The other reason why it seems convenient is that apparently she started filing for divorce in 2019 after all the Gates Epstein stuff came out. So she knew about it. But she knew. Apparently, she met with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? This is from Axios. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. From Axios, apparently, uh, the couple met Epstein in 2013 to discuss philanthropy. So apparently, Mm. they they both met with him in 2013, according Mm. to Axios. Is philanthropy a black teenage girl? <laughs> <laughs> they try to put her through school, bro. Yo, oh, man, right. That's foul, bro. <laughs> Why would they do that to philanthropy, yeah. bro? And Come they met, on, yeah. They were trying to help better. out charity, too. Huh? They, they were trying to help charity, also. That's his sister? Yeah. <laughs> philanthropy and charity? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, that's crazy, bro. Exactly. Yo, the Gateses were wild. Yeah. yeah. These are some wild people, sons of bitches. <laughs> Both of them are sons of bitches. <laughs> Nah. I'm what do you call a girl? Bitch. Daughter. You know, there's no there's no daughter of a bitch. Nah, you, yeah, because that shit gets passed down. Apple don't fall far from the tree, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think I fucked up the delivery, but you know what I'm trying to say though. This apple ass bitch right next to that bitch ass tree. But you can't say daughter of a bitch? Nah. Daughter of a bitch. It's too many syllables. Daughter of a bitch? You can in Spanish say hija de puta. Hijo de puta, hija de puta. Son of a bitch. It's not a beautiful when you said it. Daughter of a bitch in English? It's a lot. Yeah, it's a da- mouthful. What's another word for daughter? Cunt. <laughs> we talking about Melinda still? I hate Come this on. bitch, yo. Come on. Damn, I son. hate this bitch. What about yo, Bill? Do you I hate him? I cannot wait. I mean, I don't ever want you to get divorced, but if you do, that podcast is going to slap, <laughs> son. son. if y'all get divorced on a Bro, Sunday, let you, me tell you, uh, Tuesday going to be wild. For your Bro, reputation, that, that cannot happen. happen. I wish that never happened. Yes. I don't yeah, believe For your reputation, it can't happen, bro. Say what? For his reputation, it can't happen because he's going to go wild. Yo, he's going <laughs> to go so fucking wild. Nah, listen, that I didn't say Bro. nothing about Mackenzie because Mackenzie at least was there from jump. This bitch married the richest man in the world and then she can act like she entitled to something 
No. You did nothing. This was a moving train. You caught a free ride. Oh, okay. that's my issue. And now you're gonna ask for money, and now take a moral high they ground. Began, He's a they pedophile. began dating in 1987. Come on, son. 19- Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> began dating in 1987. They did. You yeah. made up a year. According to uh, CNET. How we have an ex girlfriend? He started dating this bitch in 1987. Because he was dating he her. Ain't date no 80 year old bitch taking her on an island or whatever. <laughs> She's 70. He's lying. She's you, 70. You pulling a Melinda right bro, now? You're lying. CNET. Is CNET lying? Yes. She's 70, bro. <laughs> Are, can you just not believe that Bill Gates has two girlfriends? Son. That's what it is. You're like, no. Am, look, ready? Poor Bill name, Gates? Her no. name is this. Ann Wimblad is the ex-girlfriend, 70 years old, 40 years of experience in software industry. Okay? Yep. She she uh she got a little she looks a little bit like, hey you guys. <laughs> she got some hey you guys in her, bro. I'll be honest with you, dog. She got some hey you <laughs> guys. What bergged out or no? She yeah, Johnson Johnson. Well, she definitely Johnson I hate Johnson. Yeah. She iceberg. All my heart. So Ann and Bill began dating in 1984, meeting at computer conferences. Okay, they began going on virtual <laughs> dates, calling each other on the phone, went to a number of trips together. Brazil, what a couple of virgins, huh? Central Come Africa. On. Come on, I can go, dude. Dude, virtual dates in the 80s is, is lit. Stayed close after 1987 split. Gates had an arrangement with his wife that he and Winblad can keep one vacation tradition alive every spring. Done for more than a decade, they spent a long weekend with Wimblad and her beach cottage in North Carolina. Respect. Shit, it was a cottage. Oh, yeah, shit. Let's go Respect. spring breaking gates out here, dogs. <laughs> okay, now let me just ask you guys a question. This motherfucker knew what he needed to be the ideal husband to, to Melinda. Uh-huh. Yeah. He asked for it and he delivered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that on Bill or is that on Melinda? Everything is on Melinda, yo. <laughs> Everything is on Melinda. Yo, Bill know. did nothing wrong. I Bill think- did nothing wrong except maybe the Epstein stuff. I don't have evidence of that yet. The jury is still out on that. <laughs> but that's it. I think the Melinda. I think Melinda actually looks good in this. That she was like. That's because you stupid, bro. You don't know <laughs> dumbass little boy. That she was that little boy. Is <laughs> grown men little talking. Boy? That's funny. Was- <laughs> calls him a little boy. It's that's grown wild. men talking over that's here. Wow, bro. That she was able to be like, yeah, like, oh, have your fun. Like, you need this, but like, be honest with what you're doing. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And- that was the least she could have done. One weekend a year, greedy ass bitch. You get fifty one weekends of the richest man in the world. Bitch, are you out of your mind? You get 98% of his weekends, ho. Come on, yo. He gets one a month. Yeah. You get 75% of Bill. But what if he don't want to hang out with hey you guys once a month? Then he gets he got other other girls. That's once a but year. He, that, that's not how Bill is, bro. Bill would be into hey you guys. He want to hang out with all the goonies probably. <laughs> I think she actually looks good. I really do. That's She's the a- only place where she looks good ever, including her face. <laughs> nah, Melinda's all right. I don't know what she looks like. You are hating <laughs> hard yeah, right yeah. now, bro. I have no idea what she looks like, quite frankly. Never looked at a picture of her because why would I? Here, you don't Bill Gates know what is the richest fucking man in the world's wife looks the like. Look at hey you guys, bro. What am world. I missing? Wait, what? Look, look at hey you guys. What am I missing? That's different. That's his That's mistress. A side piece, bro. That's my a side, side piece, piece should be hotter. Well, he got to get an ugly enough side piece where his main piece could be like, all right, fuck that ugly bitch. Yep. Uh huh. Like, right. well, you you can't fuck a batter. This one. guy knows how to run a monopoly, bro. That's the whole thing with the monopolies. You can't make it too monopolistic. You got to have some little competition on the side so it doesn't look like a monopoly, so you can keep running your shit. That's, That's what it. he's doing. This That's guy understands it. antitrust, bro. He broke the trust because it's antitrust. He knows it. He knows it, bro. Uh-huh. That was some wordplay right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't actually make sense if you think about it. <laughs> that bitch was, with you, dog. That bitch was somebody's anti old ass bitch. I'll tell you that much right now. <laughs> All right. So um, in conclusion, uh, my we conclusion know how has you been feel. reached. We know how you yes. feel about this. Mm-hmm. And why do you feel different about Mackenzie? Mackenzie was there from the jump. And she was there from 87. And she given all her money away. You don't know what because, Melinda's doing. She has a foundation. Because she knows she was charity. Hold on. Wait. She has a foundation. Let me ask you this question. Don't worry about foundation. <laughs> what, what? When did Microsoft start? Let's find out. Did that shit start in 1988? He was you the might richest got... man in the world when they got married. No, that's not true. Yeah. No, that's not true. You don't know that. Well, it's more fun if it's not true until okay. we find out. Okay. All right. So I, I'm just trying to keep... I, I don't believe 1987. So I don't know what fucking 4chan website he's reading that off of. 1975, they got married. 1975? No, no, no. 1975, Microsoft was founded. Yeah. Oh, so this is 12 years later? Yeah. Yeah, bruh. Oh, no, on. dude. Come on. Oh, no. Get in there. All right, Get in so, there. Oh, no. Get in there. Oh, oh, Let her oh, rip, Schultz. Hold on a second. Let her rip. Hold on, because I'm, okay. I'm about to. Hold so on. So he I'm became the richest man in 1995. And when did they get uh, married? They, they started dating in 1980. When did they get married? They got married in 1994. Oh, that's a lie. Alex? No, that's true. See? 
Mm hmm. He was only the second richest man in the world when they got married. Start moonwalking. <laughs> well, I got a moonwalk too. Second place. <laughs> 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 bitch, bitch, nah, man. Bro. You married Elon Musk. That's pretty fucking good. Oh, uh, he number two. They were dated in 1987. That's a lie, dog. That's some shit she said to make herself look good. <laughs> what woman you know date fucking 12 years before you get married? Uh, this girl is confident. She's out here. She's like, yeah, He's been at Microsoft, 1987. Bro, in 1987, he was deep. only worth $1.2 Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> fucking pockets, fucking bro. Popper, dude. That's pockets, bro. Yeah. That's dust bunnies. Yo. That's pockets. Yo, this bitch married a billionaire. Started dating a billionaire. Got lucky enough to marry him and then gonna act like she got some fucking moral high ground to get money. You get yeah. you get four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm being generous. Nah, that is interesting. Like, what should a wife get? Wait, do they have kids? Yeah, they got four kids. Wait, one, can one we of them see? Is one, actually, like, I don't know. What? What? One of them? What? I don't know how old they are. Well, let's look at the ages. <laughs> let's look at the ages, because you know Mark be on the internet. <laughs> Here we go. Get again. in the deep web, buddy. What is <laughs> Get on a deep web, buddy. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get these little shouties up. He got a female <laughs> female kid, bro. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Okay. Hold okay. On. <laughs> okay. That's my point. That's my point. That's my point. He's <laughs> 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 Yo, look at that little bow legged red bone bitch right there. Son. Hold on, how old is she? <laughs> hold on, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Come on, son, chill out, yo. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me the ages, Al. Oh Bust God. down these ages, bro. You can find the ages. <laughs> Mark, tell us the goddamn ages. Get off the table and tell I'm us worried. the ages. I'm trying to wait time, so maybe it'll go, you know. It'll hold, on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. 18, 21, 25. Okay. Let's go! Hold on. Which one is which? And bring them out again. And I need to see Instagram accounts. I need to see Instagram accounts. Be sure that with the red hair was looking kind of key. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think we stumbled upon a gold mine. That's what that bitch was saying in 1987 when she but, met Bill. But still, you going to fuck it up for all of us because you hating on their mom so much. Yeah, dude. Come on, bro. Come on, that's gonna be, that could be an in-law of one Yo, of us. Bill Gates. Gates produced some nice little pussy, bro. When you think about it, yo, so, I'm leaving. So, yo, come on, yo, come on. So, Come on, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Bring it back up. What's the OnlyFans? <laughs> yo, yo. I need to know what oh Bill God. Gates' daughter's OnlyFans oh are right now. Yeah, she's 25. Oh, she'd be riding horses. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Giddy up, giddy up, Ginger. <laughs> Let's Jennifer go. K. Scroll Gates. it down. Scroll it down. Is that wait? Is that her man's in the profile? She's 25. She's 25 years old. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> Real dog. Come on now. Come on oh my now. God. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, oh my <laughs> God. Well, she got, you don't see. Hold on. Go back to that with that medium. Heavy. <laughs> Come on. Come on now. What's her name? Oh Jennifer? Yeah. Jennifer with that medium. Heavy. <laughs> Come on, Al. Al, you need a chill. You need a chill, Al. That's just <laughs> Bill. Yo, come on, yo. That's Bill oh Gates. That's Bill Gates' daughter. Oh, yo, look at her mans. She, yo, she your dad's up. a fucking creep. <laughs> your dad's a creep. Uh, Why is your dad a creep? Yo. 
，有些人敢哦哦哦 ，It's time， and still， come on now， stop it， stop it， stop it， scroll through it's a carousel <笑>。<laughs> yeah, yeah, Josie's first time on Instagram. Carousel, <laughs> son. Scroll through. Not your first Instagram. Come on, slideshow. son. Keep it going, Al. Keep it going. Scroll yeah. through. Whatever so, the fuck that means. Turns out slideshows are lit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> This shit is awesome. That's all of them? Yeah. Come yeah. on, yo. Yo. <sighs> yo, you're wild. Al, look how young. Al, chill, chill. Al, Al, chill. You a wild girl, bro. Picture Al going. I was a wild girl. <laughs> no, it's the red, bro. Yo, you a wild girl, bro. Why did you assume it was the other one? That's messed hey, up on you. Hey, hey, you going too far <laughs> down, bro. Al she's, snitched on himself. He was like, yo. She's too young now. Al, look at the year of these pics, bro. She's too young. Come on, turn it off. I'll be scrolling into dangerous territory. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I only had to scroll back like three rows. To Come get on. She's under 18. Lot, she doesn't she post a lot, okay? She don't <laughs> post a lot. Yeah. She's busy, bro. Yeah, so that was the content. You know? <laughs> God on. damn. Oh my Come on, God. we all Randy over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all knew that Bill Gates was packing. <laughs> Y'all knew that Bill Gates and Melinda Gates was packing some. Oh, he's got the good C, bro. It's real so talk, it real oh talk. <clears throat> Come on, old nerd ass Bill Gates. <laughs> got some daughters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Catching cocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Oh my god. Come on, Bill got, Gates. Got the pleated pants, bro. Keep all that oh dick in there. God. Keep all of it. Yeah. All of it. And we gotta show some respect to Melinda, bro. Yo, you Melinda. You gotta backtrack on what you said about Melinda. I ain't backtracking yo, 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 nothing. Yo, yo, yo. I ain't backtracking nothing. Yo, yo, watch nothing. your mouth. Yeah. I ain't back watch your mouth. I ain't backtracking yeah. nothing. Yo, watch your mouth. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, we hey, Mark brought up a good point the other day. Yes, I did. We deserve an apology. Yes. From mm. Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg, you little nerd. <laughs> hey, listen up here, dork. <laughs> With your fucking suntan lotion all over your face. You owe me and you owe Mark and you owe Alex Media <clears throat> and you owe Dove and you owe Efe and, the people and of Robbie, the world. The people of the world. The people of the world. Akash probably also was helping us out on that. Yeah. You owe us an apology. For taking down our video where we were critical of Bill Gates hanging out with egg dick pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. We didn't even say anything crazy. What did we say, Mark? We said he hung out with egg dick pedophile and, Jeffrey Epstein. And, 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 and will you look at this? Mm -hmm. I need you to take down Melinda Gates' Instagram account now. Melinda is probably watching that episode being like, yes, facts. Facts. Yeah. Yes. She, she's probably supporting us. Hell yeah. Probably trying to slap cocks out of her daughter. So smoking hot. <laughs> so smoking hot. <laughs> do you know what I'm Yo, saying? Yo, you think? So smoking hot. Oh, do you think? What? That's that's why? What? He was. Oh, I see where Mark is going. Wait, wait now. Hold I on. I see now. where Mark is Hold going. Now. Say I don't want to say. We about to get taken down again. Say it. Say it. Say it. We about to get taken down. Medical misinformation. Take it. <laughs> Take it away, Mark. Take it away. Look. Yes. I, I care about. I care about stopping trafficking around the world. Jeffrey Epstein is a is a horrible man. Yes, he is. Right? He's dead. Yeah. What is consent? He's a horrible man. He's a horrible person. But and Bill Gates. Yup. Like to spend time with Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. Bill Gates might be a bad person for that, also. I agree, and and he also has has children. So what you think? Maybe that Jeffrey Epstein was meeting with Bill Gates to try to get his kids involved. And maybe Bill Gates is trying to protect his kids. So maybe we actually owe Bill an apology. Oh my God, Mark, you done flipped it. He, yeah, he stopped the yeah. he stopped the floodgates. Jeffrey Epstein was trying to get all up in there, and he goes he had to check him and go, Yo, I don't stop. support this take at all, son. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't support this oh take one single bit. I thought that we were going all I in. I thought we were gonna have fun. I went just crazy right now. Did you hear what I was saying? <laughs> the, the only way it's okay for me to say that if her father is a pedophile. I blacked out. Yeah. If her father's the victim of a pedophile's, you know, crazy game to Sexually imprison his daughters? Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm one hell of an asshole, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, probably not. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Well, shouts to shout, shouts to the Gates, yo. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> each one of those kids getting getting ten getting mil. What do you mean? Each one of those kids getting ten million. That's it. I mean, son, them kids are worth billions, bro. They signed the giving pledge, giving that away. No, nah, but they're not really gonna give it away. They're gonna give like they're gonna keep all the stock and give that shit to the kids. Them kids are billionaires for life, bro. Yeah, I bet that shit is in PR. Yeah, 
She out here riding horses. You don't do that shit with no measly ten million. Yeah, goofy ass want to be a doctor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fucking pockets, fucking yeah. ten million pockets, bro. Yeah, bro. pocket chain. That shit is pockets for them, bro. Yeah, that's, that's lint. Yeah, that's just pockets. That's, that's all four dollars. <laughs> dust bunnies. But. Uh, guys, I think that's it. Is there anything else we need to touch on before we're done? <laughs> I feel like we touched on a lot of things. Yeah. Not as many. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna make another um, Bill Gates dig, but we don't know if he's actually touched on kids. Yeah, probably hasn't. He he touched on a dude that touched on kids. He definitely was friends with a dude that touched on kids. Mm -hmm. But he also said that he doesn't have any relationship, professional or personal. Yeah. With whom? With Jeffrey. So why were you at his house so mad late in the night? Mom. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Was he? Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, I don't That's know. That's weird. Maybe Melinda was right this whole time, yo. Bitch didn't say nothing. <laughs> oh, you're right. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Bitch said nothing all of a sudden. Now she got a problem with it, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I hate her, dog. <laughs> oh, get the fuck. She did a little good in the world, Akash. You need to chill out. She What'd did a she little she good. What'd she do? What'd she do? Yeah, you know what she did. <laughs> you know what she did. She squeezed out some tings, bro. <laughs> she squeezed out some fucking tings, bro. Malisandra. One looking like Malisandra. Do you remember that? No. From Game of Thrones? Oh, red yeah. Head freak, a little redhead freak unit, yeah. bro. Melisandra? Melisandra. <laughs> Whatever that redhead little freak was talking about. You know what I mean? You trying to be the fire god. Oh, shit. You know she got some oh, fire, God. dude. She got some fire down there, <laughs> dude. Do you know what they call that shit? That ginger box, bro? What? Think that I think they call it ginger <laughs> box, bro. The ginger, ginger box, man. That ginger, ginger snaps? box, man. She got that ginger yeah, the snaps. Fireplace, bro. bro. She real talk, mm -hmm. real talk, real <laughs> talk, dude. Just saying, just put it out there. Just put it out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yo, just try to search that shit on Bing, bro. See what Bing, <laughs> yo, search his daughters on Bing. If you bro. Google Bill Gates' fame on Bing, he says no kids, no That's kids what whatsoever, bro. Yeah. Haters, <laughs> haters. <laughs> All right, we're done with this episode. We love you. We appreciate you. Patreon.com slash flagrant two. You know, we got it every single week. Um, we've been doing this cool thing over on Patreon where we got the uh, captain sending in videos. Yeah. Uh, for their questions and that shit has been mad funny because mm. some of y'all are wild ass boys which is not surprising given the podcast you listen to so we will see you there patreon.com slash flagrant suit we love y'all we appreciate mm. y'all oh yes and reddit AMA oh I yeah and we got a reddit AMA today today matter of fact at uh and I've already said this earlier in the podcast because we probably should yeah but I'm reminding you once again we got a reddit AMA today 12 till 2 mm -hmm. right on reddit Shouts to Reddit. Eastern time. Eastern time. Okay. So listen up, fucking Reddit nerds. <laughs> Come holler at us. Ask some questions. We'll talk to y'all. This is going to be fun, man. We're very appreciative of y'all because as much as y'all hate, you also share our shit around the world and uh, it really gets the conversation going. So without you, we wouldn't be what we are. So we might have a contentious relationship at times, but there's a lot of gratitude there. So we'll see you at that Reddit AMA. Once again, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Peace.